Good afternoon, everybody. Dick Harlan speaking to you from Brownfield on the campus of Valparaiso University, where this afternoon the Valparaiso Crusaders try for win number three on the year as they host the Hornets of Kalamazoo College, who are one and one coming into today's game. With us, Coach Tom Horn of the Valparaiso Crusaders. And, Coach, uh, two victories to start the season. Uh, I guess the only drawback has been your offense has been a little inconsistent. Yeah, our offensive line was uh, didn't do a very good job last week of picking up uh, blitzes and things for us, and we worked hard on that this week. And uh, as everybody knows, an offense can only go as far as the offensive line will take them. And uh, hopefully we've corrected those mistakes and those errors this week and are communicating better in, in the up-front lines there, and uh, we'll do better today. When you, uh, when you go into this ball game, you got three of your starters, uh, two on offense, one on defense, who will not be here. Isaiah Young won't be in the game. Fitzgerald can't play today. Uh, you're going to have Ronnie Sazone out of the defensive backfield. Any changes you're going to have to make for that? Well, Darren Rodriguez is the backup running back behind Isaiah Young. He'll be our starter today. Uh, Mike Shemi will be playing center today. Uh, Evan Fitzgerald will not be able to play. So uh, we'll have the same offensive line starting last week, so Mike Shemi will be a center, a Belbo high grad. And then Ryan Sazon will be playing today, and we'll have a combination of Noel DeBona stepping in and, and playing there, as well as uh, Saul Shahid moving from strong safety to corner, and then Scott Lassie coming in playing strong safety. So those are the, the changes we've made, and we feel very confident in those uh, players coming in and playing well for us. Tell us about the Hornets. What can we expect from them? Well, number one, they're probably the biggest asset. Their offensive line is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're as big a team as we'll play all year, uh, Division One, Two, II, or Three, And... Uh, Coach uh, Wormack has done a good job of uh, building an offensive line. Uh, the skilled players there are, are probably not as, as, as speedy as ours, but they've got a huge offensive line. They protect the passer well. He's a good thrower. He's six foot six. can see the defense real well, so that presents a problem to us. And defensively, they've got nine starters back, so they don't make a lot of mistakes on defense. Uh, so uh, we'll be in for an, another tough test today against the uh, Hornets. You've got to be very, very pleased in the first two ball games with the play of your defense. Uh, Bob Canney and, uh, and you and all your coaches have, have really got those guys playing well. Well, thank you, Dick. It's the best start they've had in 30 years. Uh, it started happening our first, my first three years here. We were dead last in the conference in defense. And uh, then Coach Canney came in and improved every year. And this year we switched defenses, and uh, I really like the defense we're playing right now. And so that's uh, a reason for our success, and, the, and uh, it fits our players and our personnel real well, too. Well, Coach, best of luck today. Let's hope for win number three. Okay, Dick. Thank you. Coach Tom Horn of the Valparaiso Crusaders will be back with the opening kickoff in just a moment. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. I want you. I want your hand on my back when I make my way through a crowd. I want to feel you watch me when I talk to my friends. Talk to me. Tell me about your friends, your family. Look at me. I want to spend my life with you. And I'll never hurt you. Never lie to you and never put you in danger. There's a time for us to be lovers. We will wait until that time comes. Your children don't know the meaning of the word racism. Let's keep it that way. children to hate. And back we are at Brown Field and Dick Harlan joined by the coach, former Vike, or, or Crusader <laughs> head football coach, got to get my Valparaiso right. straight. Bill Cook is with us as uh, he will be each and every uh, broadcast this year and welcome coach. Uh, we had a great one last time. Yeah, what, do we, what do we look for today? Well, Kalamazoo has a huge offensive line. They're anchored by a 280 center. They average 270 at tackles and 250 at guards. That's what you call small college football with big people. They run, they run a <clears throat> multiple sets with us today, and they also do a multiple job of shifting, all different shifts. And they also, man, they also have a wide array of motions that we're going to see today. They have a big quarterback, six foot six. He throws the ball well, and because of his height, you're going to see a lot of motion, a lot of screens today, different screens. One of them by that Notre Dame made famous with Rocket, number two as a favorite receiver. They'll come back over the middle and try to get him the ball and break it up the middle. They screen to the outside. They do double screens. They do a lot of trick plays. You'll see a halfback pass. You'll see a hitch pass too fast and another pass downfield. So it could be some exciting football. 
One thing that uh, you have to look at if you're a Crusader fan, they will be without some of their normal starters. Ozzie Young will not uh, play today. In addition to that, uh, Ronnie Sazone is out of the defense, and Evan Fitzgerald is out of that offensive line. Young, Valparaiso University starting halfback, has been suspended for today's game for violating the athletic department's alcohol policy. That's according to VU Athletic Director William Steinbrecher. Young was arrested in Valparaiso for driving under the influence prior to the season. The incident is Young's lone violation of the policy. The department's policy states that any alcohol-related arrest will result in a one-game suspension. A misinterpretation of the department's policy immediately following the incident prompted Steinbrecher to delay any suspension of Young until after the results of a public trial will reveal. However, the misinterpretation of the policy was brought to Steinbrecher's attention and a collective decision within the athletic department was made to invoke the suspension in accordance with the correct interpretation of the alcohol policy. Young will not be suspended for any more games regarding this incident, but he is out today. So Darren Rodriguez is going to get his chance as a starting tailback. We're just about ready to get it underway. The kicker for... Kalamazoo is Brad Horman. The Kalamazoo Hornets and the Valparaiso University Crusaders. The Crusaders 2-0. The Hornets 1-1. We're ready to get this one underway. There's the kick straight down the field. It's going to be taken at about the 6 to the 10 to the 15. To the 20-25 is Michael Tolbert. And Tolbert gets it out to about the 26 where the Crusaders will start first down 10. Good coverage coming down on the part of the Hornets that time. A good return up the middle, a deep kick, not too high. You always like him to take it straight up, don't you? I like it, say it goes straight up that field. You turn laterally, unless you've got that extra blazing speed, you just give him a target to tear you out. Nick Browder is the quarterback. Holick goes out wide to the left side. Jackson is the tight end. We'll get the starting lineups here in a moment. Darren Rodriguez, the tailback behind Trevor Bell, who is at fullback. Bell goes in motion. As Browder rolls right on the option. Cuts it up and got a, maybe a yard out of it as he tried to bring it off that right side. And the Crusaders come spreading them out. We had a twins out to the left and a flanker right, and then we put a back in motion. Ended up running the option from a single back backfield. Picks up a yard on the play. Oh, they're the lining up without lineup. a huddle. Well, like Jackson, McHale. Oh, the Crusaders trying to hurry things up. Tom Horn going without the huddle as Browder sets him down. He's got... Trevor Bell on the handoff. He's to the 30, breaks a tackle across the 30 to the 31-yard line, and Bell picks up four. Going to make it third down and five. Well, interesting. The Crusaders ran a play. They're running a play again. They're coming up. No huddle. And running the next play. They're doing the same right now. Mike Shimi is the center. It'll be Mark Elijah at one guard, John Bennett at a tackle, John Lyon another tackle, and Jacob Adams at the other guard on that interior line that there's been some changes today. Browder rolls left. Got a lot of room to run if he wants to do that. He's going to take off. He's got the first down to the 39-yard line. Pick up of eight and a first down for Valparaiso. Well, they come out that time in a trips formation to the left side of the field. Single back offense again. And Nick came out in a spin-out option pass and run and took the run. There's the offensive lineup. One change in there. McHale, number 70, is not in there. Browder, Fanolio, Bell in the background on Young is out. Rodriguez is in in his position, as we stated. Browder sets him down and rolls to the right side. He wants to throw. He's got men wide open downfield, but he's going to run it as he takes it up across the 40 and out to about the 43-yard line. Michael Tolbert, they wanted to just turn and go. He would have been wide open, but uh, they're telling him now, and hopefully he'll learn from that. They're going to pick up about three yards on the play and make it four yards out to the 43-yard line where it's going to be second down and six. Crusaders are going without a huddle again. Right so far, they've been putting two receivers to the wide side of the field in either motion or the single back and using spin-out action. Swijek, Brown, Piper, and Tack across the front for Kalamazoo. Browner straight back this time, throws it over the middle. It's caught by Jackson at about the 44-yard line. Darren Jackson with a great catch at about the 44, picks up 11 yards on or make that uh, 13 yards on the play and a first down Valparaiso. Yeah, we had a straight drop back pass and he had excellent protection in there. There's he had the all day to throw that ball. Swijek, Brown, Piper, Tack, Holloway, DeHaan, and Howie, the linebackers. 
for Kalamazoo. As Browder gives it off to the fullback, Bell inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. A pickup of five, second down and five, and an impressive first drive, Coach. Option back to the weak side to field. Yeah, they're moving the ball regularly. <clears throat> they're freezing that defense with that no huddle so far. Not getting a lot of change. Cornerbacks are Makes it difficult Kelly. to get defensive changes in there, too. Metcalf and Dahman are the safeties for Kalamazoo. Wide outs are to the left. That's Heinrich and Holick. The I backfield. Again, on the option this time, oh. and he slips and falls right at the 40-yard line. Browder had some room, but he slipped and fell. He's going to lose a yard and make it third down and six back at the 40. Now, so far, we're developing a pattern. We set two wide receivers each time to the wide side of the field. To the wide side of the field, we're running spin out. And to the weak side of the field, we're running option. Holick goes wide to the left. Fanolio goes wide to the right side. As Browder brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Nick calls out the signals. Rolls, picks to Rodriguez. Now rolls left. He's got time. Fires it out. Here it is. Oh. Hit it out of the hands of oh, Holick. We got a but flag. The flag goes down. We may have a lineman downfield or a hold is where that would normally be what you're going to get from the backside there. It's going to be against Valparaiso. Well, the Crusaders are going to call the legal receiver downfield. Number 68 was downfield. Nice center. That is, uh, Mike Shimi, and he can't go there. No, he can't go down. Not unless he's got contact from the word go. So it would be up to Kalamazoo whether they're going to take it or not. They probably will not because it'll be fourth down. It's declined, so the pass goes incomplete, and it's going to be fourth down and six at the 40-yard line for the Crusaders. If he makes oh. contact with the man on the line of scrimmage and stays with him and then he's downfield with him, it's all right. But if he doesn't have contact and it's made downfield, then... The lineman downfield. Crusaders got to kick it away. It'll be Kepke, Dan Kepke, a 6'184 pound freshman in to do the kicking for the Crusaders. He'll try to pooch kick this one. Deep is Sherwood. Dave Sherwood stands at about the 10 yard line. Kepke's kick, a high kick. Fair catch call is going to bounce and going to be stopped right at Good the one play. yard line. Down there for the Crusaders is number seven. That is Craig Banton, and Banton downs it right at the one-yard line, and that's where Kalamazoo will take it over first and ten. Excellent job by the special teams on that one. We got a fairly high punt. We had time to get down underneath it. The back was close. He had to make it wise. They shouldn't on signal for a fair catch and then let it go behind him. But we got it. Actually, he could catch that ball if he wanted to in the air. If he's not interfering with that back. First and ten, Kalamazoo, big front line. We'll get to him in a minute. The quarterback is Greg McDonald. He is six foot six. He's got the eye formation. Goes to his tail back, Wagner. Wagner goes off the right side and gets it out across the five to maybe the six yard line where they're going to spot it. Giving five yards on the play, make it second down and five for the Hornets. The Hornets one and one on the year. They lost to Franklin 32-14 last week after winning their opener 34-0 over the College of Wooster. A Division three team, second down and five. There's the defense for the Crusaders. Payak, Miller, Culp, Harrington across the front, Cunningham, Burning, and Seymour are the linebackers. It'll be a different secondary today. Snyder, Murphy, and in their number two, that's Saul Shahid at the corner. And we got flags going everywhere. Latsky is in at a linebacker as they move Shahid out to the corner. Yeah, they move Sal Shahid to the corner from the Crusader back. And then they put the other. He's playing corner now with Murphy. And they moved uh, with the D. Latsky. Latsky in, right. Latsky's into the. Latsky's uh, really a free safety, such a thing, but playing. Yeah. He's playing the Crusader back today. So it's going to be second down and eight back at the three on the delay of game, half the distance to the goal line. Second down, about eight yards to go from the three-yard line. McDonald pitched to the outside to Wagner, trying to get around the corner. Nothing there. Shahid is up. Makes the tackle right at the two-yard line. Might have lost a yard on the play. That's well, going to be third down and nine. Saul Shahid came up to make a big play there. There's the offense. Sherwood's the flanker. Doobie the tight end. Morgan House boos. French and Minzy across the front for Kalamazoo. There you see McDonald, number three, big 6'6", 210-pound sophomore is the quarterback. Green is the split end. Nelson and Wagner the running backs. 
for the Hornets. McDonald snaps or calls out his signal. Now goes straight back in the end zone. Wants to throw. Fires it out here. Incomplete. Boy, he had to get rid of that. He got a lot of pressure right up the middle. Tom Cunningham was coming, and also John Palyak was in there. McDonald just fired that one out there and just a little bit too far for the intended receiver. It's going to be fourth down and nine from the two, and they're going to have to kick it from deep in their own end zone. Now the problem with this, Coach, is you don't have enough room for your punter to get back where he wants that's to be. That's right. He's got to watch that back line. If he steps over the back line, that's automatic safety. And he's that's standing okay. right on it right now. Normally that's like a depth of... Uh, 14 yards, and he's got he's got about 9, 10 yards. Special comes in to uh, get everything ready. Now we're ready to go. Watch that back foot. This is Kelly. There's the snap. Left-footed right. kicker gets it out. It's not going to be too deep. Going to be taken by Tolbert at about 36, yes. 30. Good. Inside Good the 30 job. down to about the 27 or oh, 28 yard up line. Up. The whistle blew, though. The ball is fumbled away, but the whistle said blown, I believe, and it's going to be still the Crusader football. So it's first and ten as Michael Tolbert takes it to the 28-yard line. Did a good job, caught it on the run, and just went straight ahead, got what you can, and you're in great field position. That's right, and we ended up in good field position with it. That was interesting. That ball popped right up in the air, but it was clear the whistles had blown before. It popped right into a hornet's hand. So it's first and ten Crusaders at the 28-yard line with 9.50 to go in the first quarter. No score in the ballgame. Crusaders moved it well their first time, but uh, came up short. And then stuffed Kalamazoo down deep. Now the Crusaders in great field position as Nick Browder sets him at the 28-yard line. Bell, the only back behind him, and Browder goes back and wants to throw. Stan's got a man open. It's Finolio. He's the 15 to the 10. Joe Finolio to the 7-yard line. Well, the Crusaders were in a one-back offense again that time. Rodriguez was set at the wing, so they had a deuce to one side and a slot to the left side. Slot went out, Finaglio came right over the middle and took the pass. 21 yards for Joe Finolio, first and goal at the seven, and again, no huddle for the Crusaders. Bell and Rodriguez in the I formation. As Browder... Barks out the signal, spins. There's Darren Rodriguez, first carry. He's going to have it to about the six, maybe the five. And see, they're going to spot it at the six, pick up a yard, make it second down and goal at the six-yard line. Now Nick's on target today so far, the difference being, of course, that he's getting a lot more time to throw the ball. He doesn't have the pressure that we had last week. So far, anyway, the line doing a whole lot better job up front. Shimi the center. Snaps it back to Browder. Browder fakes twice, now rolls right, wants to throw, goes to the end zone. To Jackson oh, wait, in hey, out of there, his hands. He was tackled intended, before that reception. Intended for Darren Jackson, incomplete. It'll be third and goal. Yeah. That, that was illegal? interesting. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> Would you have said something about that if you'd I'm been down there? I've been remarking. <laughs> Somebody's probably mentioned it already. Made a remark. <laughs> third down and goal at the six. Browder sets him in the eye again. Fanolio and Holick out wide to the left side. Straight ahead, Trevor Bell, and he's going to get it to the five, and that's all. It's going to be fourth down and goal. So let's see. The Crusaders apparently going to go for the field goal as Evans comes on. Evans took over the kicking duties last week and did a whale of a job. What do we have there? Evans will try a field goal from the 12. That's a 22-yard field goal attempt. It's down. The kick is up, and it is good. So Evans splits the uprights, and there's timeout on the field with 8.22 to go in the first quarter. The score of the Crusaders, 3. Kalamazoo, nothing. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. It's a fact that many highly skilled high school and college graduates are unemployed simply because America has labeled them disabled. It's also a fact that it costs you and me approximately $45,000 a year for each of these individuals to remain unemployed. That's a costly figure considering they have the motivation to work in a variety of positions. No matter what your business needs, from computer operators to daycare workers, Opportunity Enterprises can help you add enthusiastic members to your business team. Call us. I know you'll see the difference. In our hands rests the ability to lift those who have fallen, to comfort 
those who are troubled, to guide those who could be lost. It is the greatest power we hold, and there is no greater way to make it felt than through your united way, working harder than ever to make a lasting impact in the lives of the needy and in the hopes of your entire community. Please support your united way. Tom Evans ready to kick it off for the Crusaders. 8.22 to go first quarter. 3-0. Valparaiso on top. And uh, so far, have pretty well dominated the ball game. And, and <clears throat> Kalamazoo had no time to run their offense that time because they were deep in their own end zone the whole time they were trying to run those few plays. Now they have an opportunity to come out of it and see what we can do. Evans with a high kick. It's going to be taken at about the 17 to the 20 to the 25 to the 30. Oh, 35. Sherwood two. to the outside. The 45-yard line of flag. flag down. That might be Inverted either a hold mask. or a face mask. That's number two, their favorite receiver. He's running the, the uh, kick returns back. Dave Sherwood, and he's got some speed. Uh, not right. too much speed for Kalamazoo. This is one of the guys that can go get it. That's Holding going to be called against Kalamazoo. That'll move him back. Nine out of ten times. That's what we get on a, on a kick, a punt. Return is a holding call in there. Seems like there's been a lot more of that the last few years than there used to be. I think it's maybe because they enforce it a lot they're, more. Oh, they're just calling it now. Yeah, they're finally calling it. It's always, it was always there. The officials have just decided to call it. It's like we say when we put a new rule in. I said, our, is, a, is it one that the officials are going to enforce or if the officials going to decide not to enforce it because it's too, too tough a judgment call and it, and it really becomes not a new rule at all. Green out wide to the right side. The eye backfield behind McDonald goes back, gives it off to Wagner off the right side, and Wagner's going to get a couple of yards up to the 37-yard line, pick up a two. It's going to be second down and eight for Kalamazoo. Well, the swarm defense of Valparaiso is still living up to its reputation. Uh, everything they got to get them out there is, by, is grudgingly. 7.58 to go, first quarter, 3-0. The Crusaders on top. Wide to the left side comes Sherwood. Wide to the right side goes Doobie, I believe. Everybody else in tight. McDonald splits his back this time, goes straight back, wants to throw. Fires a There's little a swing, swing pass, pass out to Wagner. Wagner right. across the 40, out to the 42, maybe maybe the 43-yard line. I like to do that with the big running back. They swing him out, try to get him the football, and they did a good job there. We got third and, third and two. Third down and two up at the 43. Pick up a six on the play. First completion of the day for Kalamazoo. Sherwood comes wide to the left side. Green goes wide to the right. He's got a wing on the right side. That's his fullback, Seth Nelson, and only Wagner behind McDonald. Gives up straight ahead to Wagner. Nothing there as he is hit right in the middle of the line of scrimmage and then breaks off, and he might get close to the first down. Pagliak is in there, also Snyder. And number 60, Matt Kulp, also in on that tackle. But he's going to have the first down up at the 45-yard line. First, That's just pure power. Must have the yeah. He, they hit him behind the line of scrimmage. The second effort got him the first down. So first and ten, Kalamazoo up at the 45. Their first first down of the ball game. We knew it was the first down. The boys on the first first and ten sticks over there were moving it before the official signaled them. Green out wide to the left. Now Sherwood goes in motion. As Horror McDonald goes back, wants to throw again. He's swing, swing pass out here. He's got a man at the 45, 46 yard line. Is number 24, the Hornets. And that is uh, Seth Simpson. He didn't get much. Came back See? to the opposite side with the same play they ran to the other side, the swing little swing pass. So it'll be second down and nine now at the 46 yard line for the uh, Hornets. 3-0, Valparaiso on top. 6.14 to go here in the first quarter of play. High backfield, wideouts both out to the right. Goes back, McDonald rolls left, wants to throw, stands in here. Got a man wide open, he's got him at the 35 to the 30. Down to the 25 to the 24-yard line to the tight end, Matt Duby. And McDonald with a great pass that time, laid it right there into Duby's hands. He caught it and takes it to the 24-yard line, a... 30-yard pickup, first down and 10. Tackled by Bernie. Linebacker dropping back. So Doobie. Up in through the line and swung him out. That's how he got free. 
Doobie with the catch and a first down for the Hornets as they move the ball with 5.45 to go here in the first quarter. High formation behind McDonald. Sherwood comes in motion. There's the pitch to the outside of Simpson. There's nothing there as he is hemmed in. Murphy, the first man up to make the tackle. Murphy come up again. He does a good job on contain. No gain on the play, making second down and 10 at the 24-yard line. Another pass, they brought the man through. He must have been in a man-to-man, and he broke through off on the linebackers with Adam. Josh come back and made the tackle. I don't know if that was his initial man or not. Set him down in the eye. Now they split the backs. McDonald goes back, gets it off to Wagner on the right side. Wagner breaks one tackle and fights his way near the 20-yard line. Strong running back. Wagner, 6'1", 218, and a senior. Looks like he might be a little bit bigger than that. Yeah, he's a big boy. Paylock broke through that time, but he was just off balance and tried to make a one-handed tackle. Couldn't do it. And then uh, Wagner made it. He hit that corner and got five yards. He picked up about three on the play. Third down and about seven, six or seven yard lines inside the 21-yard line. Wide to the right side goes Green. Wide to the left is Sherwood. The eye backfield. As McDonald barks out a signal, goes straight back, rolls right, now wants to throw, stands in, fires it out here, it is in and out of the hands. Good defense by Saul Shahid against number 80, Adam Green. And it goes incomplete, it'll be fourth down and about six. Let's see what they're going to try to do. He had a shot at that ball, actually had it in his hands. We made our jump a little early and he came up with it, but dropped the football. That could just as easily have been a TD on it that time. Brad Horman, the kicker's coming on, so they're going to try the field goal. It's going to come from the 27, so a 37-yard field goal attempt by Horman, the 6'1", 170-pound senior, with 4.13 to go. There's the snap. It's down. The kick is up. It is just there. Just barely got it. Yeah, just cleared the cross. But it counts. And with 4.07 to go in the first quarter, the score is tied. It is Valparaiso 3, Kalamazoo 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Well, well they did a nice job switching their, their sets around that time and throwing the football. McDonald has done a good job. He found his receiver. What's for dinner? It's pickled herring, smoked salmon, and liver paste. Your family will begin a wonderful adventure when you open your home and your hearts to a foreign exchange student. Become a host family and help make way for a peaceful, global tomorrow. Make friends with the world. One friendship at a time. Guess what's for dinner? Pizza? <laughs> American Intercultural Student Exchange. Call toll-free 1-800-SIBLING. <laughs> Clean water will help save this village. So the man and the village work hard, assisted by an organization that's been helping needy people overseas help themselves for over 55 years. What is this organization that helps hungry families grow more food, communities build schools, and gives poor children a reason to hope, to smile? Child Reach Sponsorship. Call 1-800-452-5900. It works. Michael Tober takes it from the six, gets it out to about the 25, and that's where the Crusaders will have it first down and 10. We're tied at 3-3, four minutes to go in the first quarter. Yeah, 25 is about the difference we, since we moved the ball back five yards on the kickoff. If we stop them at the 20, it's good. If we got them at the 25, it's about the same thing now. Trying to open the ball game up. Wide to the right side goes Fololio. Wide to the left side is Holuck. Bell and Rodriguez split backs behind Browder into the shotgun. Well, they didn't handle this very well last week. They've worked on it all week. Hopefully, it'll be better. We've got a new center. Let's yeah. see. Yeah, good nice snap Nice snap back. by Shimi. Stands in. Fires it out here underneath. He goes to Holak. Holak gets it out to about the 27 to maybe the 28-yard line. That was spread it all out. Throw it out and bring the receiver back over the middle. Almost like a middle screen. Pick up a four yards on the play, and that'll make it second and six out at the 29-yard line. And again, the no-huddle offense for the Crusaders. 
Rolio's wide right, Short Holak is wide left. Snap. Browder stands in, looks, fires it out for Tolbert. Oh! Jackson just off his hands. Well, one thing, Coach, and you mentioned it earlier, Browder throwing the ball a whole lot better than he has, uh, did last week at least, but he's not under as much pressure. Oh, no, we've got, he's get, getting excellent time to throw the ball today. Excellent time. Oh, that was a close one by Nick. Two, two, two defenders on him. Daryl just couldn't come down with it. So it's going to be third down and six to the 29 for the Crusaders. Again, the snap back. Browder stands in. Now steps up. Going to take off himself. Turns it upfield over the 35. Tiptoes down the sideline. Let's see if he got enough for the first down. It appears he did out at the 38-yard line. He picked up nine on the play and a first down for the Crusaders. He was stepping the type rope down there that time. Looked like Nick had a little ballet class. So the first down for the Crusaders out at the 38-yard line. 3.14 to go here in the first quarter. We're tied at 3-3. Tolbert and Holak wide left. Wing on the left side is Jackson. As Browder rolls left, got time, time. stands in, fires it out here. Throws it right into the ground. I'm not sure what happened. Looked like it might have slipped out of his hand that time. He's trying to run to the left and throw back to the right. He's got to get that body turned. That time with the pass to run, he had a fullback out in front of him and a lot of green grass. That would have been an excellent time for him to run the football. Well, Nick uh, is a great runner, uh, a very, very good runner, and uh, sometimes you like to see him just tuck it in and take That's off. That's right. Second down and 10 at the 38. There's the snap, gives it to the fullback, Trevor Bell off the left side, and he'll take it across the 40 and out to about the 43, maybe the 44-yard line. They'll give him the 43, pick up a five, so it's going to be third down and five. Well, we've got to start breaking a couple of those big ones up the middle to keep them loose. Third down and five at the 43-yard line for the Crusaders. Tolbert goes out wide left. Heinrich in, he goes out wide to the right side. Router pitch to Jax, to uh, Rodriguez, cuts it back up. He's across the 45 and out to the 49-yard line. Darren Rodriguez picks up six and a first down for the Crusaders. So Rodriguez, earning his keep, picks up the first down for Valparaiso. Broke it right where that that sweep should go most of the time. You started with the sweep, they spring it out, and then you cut it back up inside the contained man. Just a little wide of the tight end, and, uh, and he made the five yards. Just short of the 49-yard line, where it's first down, 10 Crusaders. Manolio and Holick out wide right. They give it to Rodriguez again, straight down the middle, runs into a defender, jerks away to nice the 45. Six-yard pickup for Darren, second down and four. Nice effort by Rodriguez. A little isolation play with the fullback leading up Trevor Bell. Different type of running back from Ozzie Young. He's not as quick, but a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger, maybe. Right. He bounced in and swung it off. Manolio and Holick out wide to the right side. The eye backfield. In motion goes Holick. Browder going back. Wants to throw, stands in. He's got plenty of time now. Gets rid of it. He's got Manolio at the 35 to the 33-yard line. Nick Browder just stood in there until he had something and finally hits Joe Fidolio, but a flag is down, I believe. Is there a flag down? He had a good three, four seconds to throw that football, and when he threw it, he still had no pressure on him. That offensive line is looking great today on pass protection. Now a flag on the Coach play. Coach ought to be tickled to death. Against Valparaiso is going to move it back to about the 50-yard line. So that'll make it second down and nine at midfield for the Crusaders. Minute 20 to go here in the first quarter of play. We're tied at three. Browder into the shotgun. Goes back. Plenty of time. Fires. Got Tolbert wide open, and Tolbert makes the catch and is down at about the 38-yard line. I'm not sure why the whistle didn't blow when he was setting on the guy, but uh, finally did. And Michael Tolbert makes a nice catch and a turn in at about the 
nine yard line, a pickup of 11 and a first down. Well, he can be setting up, his knees haven't touched the ground. He can still get up and run the football, so he's free bait. It gives him an opportunity. As a coach, you might get mad too if he stood up and ran the football and he blew it. <laughs> yeah, he that's true. Be, he'd be angry. That's true. Minute five to go, first quarter, tied at three. Crusaders moving the football, first and ten at the 39. Nick Browder looks over the defense. Gives it off to Trevor Bell, the fullback, straight ahead, and fights his way to the 35-yard line. And they're going to mark it at the 36 and give him three, make it second down and seven. For Valparaiso as we go inside 40 seconds. Crusaders have uh, only been in the huddle a couple times here in this first quarter of play. They're first going with the no huddle offense, trying to catch the Kalamazoo defense un unready and keep them from making a lot of changes. Right. Tolbert and Heinrich out wide right. Jackson flip flops and tight end. Oh, we've got a strong formation to the right. Browder rolls that way. He's got That's looks for somebody, nice pulls play. it down and runs to about the 33 yard line. Pick up of only three. It's going to be third down and four, and that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. So the first quarter is history. The score after one, Valparaiso three, Kalamazoo three. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. If you sometimes forget things, and it's happening more often, it's not necessarily your age, but it never hurts to be sure. There are people who can help. If you want to learn more about forgetfulness, we'll send you a free booklet. Call 1-800-438-4380. Don't forget. Happy birthday! One in nine women will develop breast cancer. Someday, we may be able to prevent the disease, and you can help. Join the thousands of women who are part of a study researching ways to prevent breast cancer. If you're at increased risk for the disease, phone 1-800-4-CANCER to find out more. Do it for yourself or your daughter. Do it for someone you love. 3-3 three, three after one quarter of play. The Valparaiso Crusaders with the football and driving. It'll be interesting to see while they were gone. Bobex, the second string fullback's dad won the Subway sandwich. I wonder who's going to get it. <laughs> Daddy or him. This is the 11th play of the drive. The Crusaders holding on to the football. Jackson off the left side this time. He's got uh, Bonolio and Holick out left. Gives it off to Bobek and Bobek fights his way to the 29-yard line. He picks up Four, it's going to be close to the first down. So the backup fullback, Nate Bobeck, a 5'8", 190-pound junior, fights his way close to the first down. At the 29-yard line, they're going to have to bring the chains in from across the way. Maybe if they had a bite of that Subway sandwich, we'd have it for sure. <laughs> now they're going to stretch it out. And he got it. First down, Valparaiso, first and 10 at All the 29-yard right. line. Good job. So first and 10, Crusaders at the 29-yard line. As the drive continues, it's well, been we're a moving long the ball well, drive. but we got to move it down and get, a, get seven points on the board this time rather than three to make use of the fact that we've been pretty well controlling the football. Bring Jackson off the left side. They got two wideouts this way, Fanolio and Holick. The eye backfield. Browder wants to oh, take oh. it back from Bobek. They fumbled the ball. Browder got on it. And uh, might have picked up a half a yard on the play. They'll say no gain. It'll be second down and 10 at the 29-yard line. That was a case of Nick wanted to pull it back, and Bobek wouldn't let it go. <laughs> yeah, we, we were in an un actually, we were in an unbalanced formation over here to the left side, trying to run the dive back for the weekend on that time. Second down and 10 now at the 29. Browder goes straight back to throw. Plenty of time. Fires it out there wide open at Fanolio. Touchdown. <laughs> Joe Fanolio was wide open down the middle of the field, and Nick Browder threw a strike. And the Crusaders are on the board again. 
where Fernolio didn't catch anything last week. This week he's, he's come out and had a couple good passes and went for a touchdown. It's amazing how much better Nick Browder's throwing the ball, but as you said, he's got all day to throw it. Throw the football. Tom Evans for the extra point kick. It's up. It is good. So there's timeout on the field with 14.05 to go in the first half. The score now. Valparaiso 10, Kalamazoo 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. They grew a whole new kind of crop. I did a lot of growing myself. After 30 years of working in business, Peace Corps was a labor of love. To thousands of Americans, Peace Corps was the memory of a lifetime. Your experience can help you do something memorable. Call Peace Corps, 1-800-424-8580. It's still the toughest job you'll ever love. Tomorrow's world looks like today's, but it's deceptive. To prepare, stay in school. Then get powerful tools, education, training, and experience from the Air Force. In the Air Force, you'll hold your tomorrow in the palm of your hand. Aim high, Air Force. 10 to 3, Valparaiso, 1405 to go. First half, there's the kick. A nice kick going deep. Sherwood's going to let it go in and out of the end zone, and it'll be first down and 10. Kalamazoo at the 20 yard line. Excellent, deep kick. Clear through to the end zone. No return on those, that's what we want. Well, it's interesting as the season goes along, Coach, uh, Tom Horn said this was the best freshman recruiting class they'd had in years, and more and more of these freshmen starting to contribute as the season's going along. We might see a little bit of a freshman running back in there today too, by the name of Jody Hart that they tell me has the same kind of speed or close to Ozzie Young. But Rodriguez right now is doing a good job. First and 10 at the 20 for Kalamazoo. McDonald brings Sherwood in motion to the near side. Spins it around, goes back. He wants to throw. Fires it out here. He's got a man open. At three. Oh, there's a flag down. Oh, we had a Blitz. we had a guard downfield. At least it's a 60 number. And let's see Offensive what the... lineman downfield. I'm almost sure. Yep, that's what it is. Yep. So a lineman downfield against... Kalamazoo is going to move it back five and make it first and 15 from the 15 yard line. Well, they're yeah. doing a good job. We've got a new defensive back in there. Of course, Lasky's played a lot of football. Yeah. He's doing a good job for us right in there right now. Illegal receiver downfield. That'll put the ball back at the 15 yard line where it'll be first down and 15 for the Hornets of Kalamazoo. Before the ball game, I was talking to our equipment man, Merle Nelson. And Merle reminded me to say to the fans that not one player has missed one play since he's been with us due to equipment <laughs> deficit on the field right now. How about that, Merle? McDonald goes out the left side. Oh. He dropped the ball right in the hands of Adam Green. He just didn't catch it. He hit him in the bad spot, his hands. So that goes incomplete. Just... It's going to be second down and 15 at the 15-yard line. Right at the spot, chest high. Could have caught it when it bounced back up his chest. Three out of six for 37 yards for McDonald here early in the ball game. Browder is five out of nine for 78 yards and a touchdown. Wide to the left side goes Sherwood. Wide to the right side goes number 86 in there. That is uh, Myholer. Straight back in the shotgun. McDonald's got time, oh, throws it down throwing the middle deep. of the field and just overthrew everybody. Green was nowhere near it. And uh, Shane Snyder had the best shot, and he wasn't very right. close. Well, that was one that we used to use in the parking lot. Everybody downfield, now he won. And that's what he did. He just went right back and cranked it up and said, if somebody, who could get underneath it? And nobody could. There's Bob Kenny, the defensive coordinator for the Crusaders. His defense has really played well so far this year. Third down, 15 at the 15-yard line as Matt Culp comes out of the ball game. They make some changes up front. Three-man line at this uh, this okay. Now they go to like four. Like they might be in a zone out here this time. 
McDonald rolls right. Double he wants to throw, stands, fires it out here. Oh, Intercepted! Here Shane Snyder for the time yes. interception. Interception, all right. We were in the zone and that left Shane Snyder free that time. And he threw it out there and Shane took it away with an excellent diving catch. He just hitting inside the line. Those are the kind of plays preseason All-Americans make. That's right. He was stretched out when he made the interception. First and ten Crusaders at the Kalamazoo 36-yard line. So Nick Browder brings the offense back. Olak and Fanolio, the wide receivers. He's got Darren Jackson at the tight end. John Lyon, Jacob Adams, Mike Shimi, Mark Elijah, and John Bennett across that front, I believe, if they uh, have what they gave us earlier. Browder goes back, wants to throw, oh, under pressure. Gets away from that man, now rolls to the right. Got plenty of room, fires it for the end zone for Holock, and he oh. missed him. Threw it on the run. That would have been a, another one of those times, Coach, when it would have been nice to see Nick just pull it down and take off. That's right. That time we had a man right in his face, and Nick stepped inside of him and broke it to the outside and had green grass, but he had a receiver downfield. But he had a lot of green grass from that time. 13 18 to go in the first half, 10 to 3, Valparaiso. Browder sets him down. He's got two wide outs to the right side, the eye backfield. Nick barks out his signals, gives it off to Rodriguez, steps it to the 30. To the Here we go. To the He's going That's down eight. the sideline. You betcha. Out of bounds at about the six. Darren Rodriguez. Nice little move up in there after he broke for the line of scrimmage. He gave a little hip and then took it back to the outside. Good job. First and goal at the six-yard line for the Crusaders. 43 yards on four carries for Darren Rodriguez in his first start. First and goal at the six for the Crusaders. The eye backfield. Browder spins. To Rodriguez again at about the five-yard line. A new running back in there is number five. That is uh, Maurice Watkins. A sophomore. He's uh, playing fullback right now. Gain of a yard on the play. Make it second and goal just inside the five-yard line. Right, we're spreading out. Oh, he got him up into the wing now. We got a trips formation to the wide side of the field. Single back, Rodriguez. Browder goes back, fakes to Rodriguez, it. steps inside. Ooh, Turns it up, goes, the, goes for the end zone. It's going to be out of bounds at about the one-yard line. So Nick Browder takes it to the one. It's going to be third down. And that goal. time, Kevin McHale, our tackle, had nobody to block and stepped back and got Nick's away for a minute there. We, we had so little pressure on well, that's the one thing you have to say about this game. The Crusaders have been able to totally keep the Kalamazoo defense from doing anything to bother Nick Browder back that's there. That's right. It's been excellent. Well, we've got third and short in here, Richie. we got Trevor back? No. Watkins at the yeah. fullback. The 5'8", 188-pound sophomore from Glen Ellen, Glenbard West. Okay, now we've got a strong formation to the left. Actually, we've got an unbalanced. Goes it straight ahead to Watkins. Right. Touchdown. Right. So Maurice Watkins with his first touchdown for the Crusaders with 12.07 to go in the first half of the Crusader lead goes to 16 to three. Our tight end shifted over to the strong side and when he shifts back over to the strong side there, actually he becomes ineligible because we got the split end up on the line and the flanker outside of him. So he becomes an ineligible receiver. If the tackle reports on that, we could have a tackle eligible. Evans with the kick. It's good. So the extra point is good. And with 12.07 to go in the first half, it's the Crusaders 17, Kalamazoo 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Begin with raw steel. Shape it with fire, muscle, and sweat. Polish it to razor sharp perfection. Maybe you can be one of us the few, the proud, the Marines. 
In some ways, I'm like my mother, maybe a little overprotective. We want Cindy to go to college. We buy U.S. savings bonds through the payroll savings plan at work, just like my parents did. Saving for college with U.S. savings bonds means one less thing to worry about. When Cindy's ready for college, we'll be ready. If college is in your child's future, make U.S. savings bonds part of your present. There's the kickoff. Evans kicks it deep. Going to be taken by Simpson at about the 8th of the 10 to the 15, 20, 25. Over the 30-yard line and down right there. And that's where Kalamazoo's going to start it out. First down and 10. They try to get back in the ball game. 17 to 3. Crusaders on top by two touchdowns. 11.59 nice to Kalamazoo. go. Kalamazoo. They got it back to the 30-yard line. And a uh, boy was hit and he kept his feet and was able to get another 10 yards. Now wide to the right side goes Green. Wide to the left is Sherwood. The high backfield with Nelson at fullback. Wagner the tailback behind Greg McDonald. Goes back, wants to throw. Stands in, fires it out here and under throws it a little bit behind Sherwood as he curled in from the left side. We had time to throw. We had a little pressure on him at the end. So it's Looks second like down. Two timing on Paylock out here. Second down and 10 into the ball game for the Crusaders comes 93 Adam Zolinski. And out goes John Harrington. Looks like Harrington's got a uh, maybe a knee pad problem there. Second down and 10 at the 30 for the Hornets. Wideouts to both sides, slot on the right side, and back goes McDonald. There's throws it over screen. the middle and is incomplete. Had it in the hands of number 20 Simpson, and Simpson couldn't hang on to it. Almost got it intercepted. That was that middle screen they were trying to throw coming back across the middle. So that'll be third down and 10 as Harrington comes back in the ball game and Zolvinsky leaves. Yeah, so far, Bob Kennedy's got to be exceptionally pleased with his defense again today. They're doing a good job of swarming to the football. You could see saw. at the end of last year they were starting to really grow up. And, the boy, this right. year they've been dominant so far in the first three ball games. McDonald goes back into the shotgun this time. There's the snap. He rolls right, wants to throw. He's under pressure. Down he goes. As Tom Cunningham got him and dumped him back at the 26-yard line. A loss of four. It'll be fourth down, 14. We had a lot of assist on that one. Actually, the pressure was put in there early by the, by the defensive ends, and he had to try to come back up the middle. That's when Tom got his hands on him. Just a good job defensively. So it's going to be fourth down, and they're going to have to kick it away. It'll be oh, Eric Kelly, here. the got, kicker. We've got ten people up in here. Look at we're coming. Tolbert we're coming. Stands at about the thirty-seven. We're coming. We're coming. There and they got it. And they got it. I told Pollock you. Pollock picks it up. Touchdown. I told you. Yes, sir. They were lined up ten in there, and they were coming right now. You better believe it. Got it from the right side. They didn't get that covered. That's what I told you last week. When you're coming on those things, they can turn into a touchdown. Because you got all brown one way and all white the other way. It looked like Tim Reason may be the guy who got the block, but Doug Holock picked it up picked for the touchdown. The block's the key. The block's the key. Well, the Crusaders up 23-3. Evans on to try the extra point again. The kick is good. So the Crusaders have blown this one wide open. 11.04 to go in the first half. And the significance of a play like that is not only the seven points you put on the board, but psychologically there's always a big blow to the other team when you get a block kick in there for you. And at that point, after just having to score and come back with the block kick, the coaches on the Hornet side are going to have a tough job coming back right now to get them to come back up. They need to drive badly to get themselves back in the ball game. The Crusaders have dominated this first half and lead it 24 to 3 over the Hornets of Kalamazoo. It's been all Valparaiso from just about the opening kickoff. It was tied at 3 3 at one point, but from then on, it's been all Crusaders, especially here in the second quarter. We have fully played, Coach, four minutes of the second quarter, and the Crusaders have four touchdowns or three touchdowns. Three touchdowns, and they're doing a good job. Like I said, Offensively, the, the difference is that we have just tremendous pass protection for Nick right now. 
or catching that football. He's, he not only doesn't he have time to throw the football, but he's had no pressure. I don't believe Nick's been tackled, except on the run. Evans approaches. Here's the kickoff. Line drive. Going to be knocked down by Nelson. He'll pick it up at the 25, 30, 35, 36, 37 yard line. That's where Kalamazoo will take it over. Okay, the Hornets have got themselves in decent field position right now. Like I say, this is a key drive for them. Uh, they need to they need to get something going. First and ten at the 37 yard line with 10:58 to go in the first half. Crusaders leading at 24 to three. Crusaders have not really had a laugher this year. They ended up that way against St. Ambrose, but that was a three nothing game at halftime. McDonald sets him down in the eye backfield, rolls back to Wagner, nothing there. Got it to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Going back to try to establish a running game, try to help support him with the pass, but he got nothing there. That's second, what he needs to do. Second down and 10 at the 37. Right now and try to contain the ball a little bit because you don't want to put it right back into the Crusaders' hands and let them get another quick one. Up they come to the line of scrimmage, comes... McDonald wide to the left side is green. And the slot on the left side. Rolls There's on option. the option. Pitch oh. up and Simpson dropped the football, gets up and is buried right there. Simpson's going to get buried right there for a loss. We're going to have to take a break. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Back we are, back in the shotgun is McDonald. Going back to throw, fires over the middle and incomplete. Receiver trying to go across the middle and Murphy got in his way. There was no way he could make the turn. So that's going to be got, fourth down. Uh, Paylock got a hit on him right after, soon as, just as he thrown the ball that time, I saw him holding his arm a little bit. But they're going out for punt formation. Good pressure by the defense. Uh, it's going to be fourth down and 14 at the 33-yard line. Kelly back in punt formation. The left footer got it up this time, not too deep. Tolbert's going to take it on the run at the 37 to the 40. Nice job by Tolbert. He come up and took that ball. That's so important. He come up and take that, make that catch instead of let that ball roll on the ground. Good job. Stacy Adams has got to be very pleased with Rodriguez and the running backs he's putting in there right now. First and 10 at the 40-yard line for the Crusaders. They lead it 24-3 here in the first half with 9.20 to go. Crusaders have totally dominated this one, right. both offensively and defensively. I wouldn't be surprised to see if we put a drive and march right down the field on this one here. Browner sets him in the I formation. Wide outs to both sides. Gives it off, kept himself. Now the pitch is out to another running back in there. That's number 31. That is Caron Stokes. Karen Stokes, 6 1, 180 some running back, sophomore. Freshman. Freshman, excuse me. Freshman from Denver, Colorado. Christian carries it out to the 43. Pick up a four on the play. Second down and six at the 43. Well, the Crusaders have been able to use a lot of different players today. They've been forced to with a little bit of the uh, injuries and suspensions, but they're getting some production out of everybody. That's going to be good for them later down the season. Browner rolls to the right. He's got a lot of time to throw. Fires it back to Jackson. Got him at the 50. Jackson to the 49. First down. And Darren, a good pass. Running to, he's running to his right. Had to throw that ball back over his left shoulder. He got that body squared around him. When you're going to throw that ball, you've got to get those shoulders squared upfield. And Nick did a good job on it that time. Darrell Jackson picks up eight on the catch, his second catch of the day. First and 10, Valparaiso at the 49-yard line with 8.25 to go in the first half. <coughs> Gus Fenball will be our guest at halftime. He's the announcer here during Valparaiso Crusader football games. 
First and 10 at the 49, straight back goes Browder. Browder stands in, fires it out here. Bowback on the screen. Down the right side to the 45-yard line and out of bounds at the 44-yard line. So a pickup of five on the play. It'll be second down and five at the 44. It's almost difficult to run the screen right now. They're getting such good protection. Yeah. You've got to have some penetration to make That's that work, right. don't you? Well, we apologize. We had a little bit of a power outage there, but we are back. The Crusaders have it second and 10 at the 26-yard line. That's 7.27 to go here in this first half. Spins it around, gives it off to Rodriguez straight ahead. Spins down to the 23, maybe the 22-yard line goes Darren Rodriguez. The wonders of modern science. Electricity works sometimes. <laughs> Plus, a gain of three is going to be third and seven at the 23. I'm not sure exactly where we lost the power, but uh, Nick Browder's 18-yard run, I believe, we uh, we missed. He ran it from the 44 down to the 26, where it's going to be now. Now it's a third and seven opportunity at the 23-yard line. You know, we've been very fortunate, too. So it's been overclass. We haven't had any of that drizzling rain they've been talking right. about that we're supposed to have all day. Browder, the eye formation, the pitch to Rodriguez down the left Cut side. Rodriguez inside. to the 20 and down there. So a pickup of three on the play. It's going to be fourth down and four for the Crusaders just inside the 20-yard line. Six minutes, 24 seconds to go in the first half. 24 to three, the Crusaders. It. I might as well. They've had it all going their way here in this first half. At this point, you have the luxury. All right. There we are. We're in a strong right again. Tight end ineligible. It's an unbalanced formation right. Browder caught. Oh, he and throws it. Oh, he's intercepted. intercepted. Flags oh, and we got down. a flag down. So we'll have to see what that's all about. It has been intercepted. Number nine coming over to make the interception for the uh, Hornets is Kenny Henderson, but what's the penalty call? It's going to be against Valparaiso offensive pass interference is going to be the call, so it'll stand. So the interception is good, and the Kalamazoo Hornets will take over first down and 10 back at about the six-yard line. First break the Hornets have gotten today. That's when you can say back, too, since it was fourth down, it'd been better off knocking the ball down rather than catching it, but you don't sure. have time to think of it. Then it had the ball another 12 yards upfield. And they're going to put it at the 12-yard line where it's first down and 10 for the Kalamazoo Hornets. Five minutes and 52 seconds to go here in the first half. 24-3 to three in favor of Valparaiso. The Crusaders have had it all their own way here in the first half. Donald sets him down at the 12 in the eye backfield. Goes back and wants to throw. Stands, going to go deep. Fires it out here for Sherwood. Sure. Oh, knocked away by Andre Murphy. Well, that was fortunate. That ball was just underthrown. Actually, the receiver had a step on us, and had he thrown that ball, it was a well, well thrown ball, but it was still underthrown. Had it been thrown on target, it could have been a completion. Murphy knocks it away. It's going to be second down and 10 at the 12 yard line. Well, McDonald shows he's got a pretty good arm back yes. there. He had to step. Of course, he's six foot six. He ought to be able to do something. Yeah. <laughs> he can at least see over the defense, if nothing else. Sherwood comes in motion to the near side. They're going to hand it off to the fullback straight ahead, and that's Wagner. Yeah, he'll carry it to about the 15 yard line, pick up a three where it's going to be third down and. Seven yards to go for Kalamazoo. They trail 24 to three, five and a half minutes to go in the first half. Let's see if we get one of the many screens that they throw this time. Where are they going with two? Now he's going out wide. So we can't look for that middle screen. There's no wing. So McDonald will split the backs. Going straight back and wants to throw. There's, There's the screen out to Wagner, and Wagner is caught and dropped, but he think he might have got the first down. Going to be real short and real close to the first down out across the 20 and out to the 20. Yep. Dipping it. 
the 23-yard line down. pickup of eight in the first down. That's a big play for him down there right now. They needed the first down badly. So first down and 10 at the 23 for the Hornets. Wideouts to both sides. They give it on the draw to Simpson, and he'll carry it out to about the 29. Picks up six, one of their better running plays of the day so far. Right. Come back with the delayed draw play. They've been throwing the football. Need to do that right now. He needs to get something established on the ground. Needs to eat up that clock a little bit, not put the ball back in our hands before they have. Well, you got to know a whole half to go. There's no reason to be in a hurry. you got to get right. it back one score at a time. You yeah. can't get it all at once anyway, so... Wanted to get something going for yourself if you're uh, Kalamazoo. Second down and fourth, the 29. McDonald under pressure, fires it out here and over the head of everybody. Latsky and Cunningham really putting a lot of pressure on him. We're in the blitz, Cunningham and Latsky, and they had pressure on him all the way. Now he had to throw that one out of bounds. He did a good job. Third down and four at the 29-yard line. Four minutes and six seconds to go in the first half. Valparaiso on top, 24 to 3. It's third down and fourth to 29. Wideouts to both sides, the eye backfield again. Donald wants sure would to split out even further. And he's going to roll left. He's got pressure from Cunningham in the back. Throws oh. to Sherwood, and is it intercepted? It is. Oh, they're saying incomplete. It looked like it was intercepted by Saul Shaheed. I don't think the officials saw it. I think they saw it go through Sherwood, and they didn't see right. Shahid catch the football. Yeah. Sherwood is just going to a little curl past the uh, the person 10 marker, and actually he might have had a completion there, but he was slipped and fell down, and then that ball went through him, and Shahid made the interception. Sherwood is still down on the ground. And can't tell for sure what the problem is. They look like they're looking at his right ribs. Looks like he's right looking ribs at his ribs. Or, uh, ankle. There's Tom Horn. Got to be happy the way his team has performed here in this first half. They're up 24-3. But one thing I will guarantee you about this Crusaders secondary, if you haven't seen them play, they do come up and hit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Led by our candidate, our all-American candidate, Schneider. Yeah, he Shane Schneider, he loves to hit people, he doesn't he? Comp- he loves to hit. But they but all do a uh, good job. But one thing we noticed last year, now they're uh, still trying to uh, help Sherwood off. I'm not. It looks like his arm, maybe, Coach, that they're working on there. I can't tell for sure, no. but uh, maybe his elbow. Might have dislocated an elbow or something. He was slipping on a play when he got hit. He, when he tried to make the curl with the inside, he lost his footing, and he was going down, and then he got hit. Well, they're bringing out something to immobilize the arm, so yeah. uh, that air cast, I guess it is. So I would guess that we're going to have some kind of a uh, problem like that. Uh, maybe maybe dislocated his shoulder, maybe dislocated his elbow, possibly. I so, have no idea. Rob Moore and the VU uh, training staff is going to go out there and see if they can help out also. But hey, well, there's Dr. Malater out there. See if uh, you know Dr. Malater. When I first came here, he was a senior and he played offensive guard for me. He was what I call. And he still him became a doctor, doctor, huh? That's right. He still <laughs> became a doctor. I said the only difference is that he's driving a Mercedes now, and I'm still driving the car I came down here in. <laughs> okay. He does a great job for all the athletic teams in the Valparaiso area. And, uh, so we're going to have a little bit of a, of a wait here, 359 to go in the first half. Used and to the call Crusaders him my up short, 24-3. fuzzy Thurston. Your short, fuzzy Thurston. First fuzzy Thurston, an all-pro with the Packers back in the glory right. days. You know, I had fuzzy the first year when I had spring practice here. Fuzzy, we got fuzzy. Fuzzy came down here on a... On a uh, basketball scholarship. He came from a small Wisconsin high school that never played football. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When he came here on a basketball scholarship, he was about 6 foot, 185 pounds, and by the end of his sophomore year, he had got, become 6'3", 235, and Ken sees in the basketball because it goes nuts because all Fuzzy wanted to do was pound people on the boards. So they talked to him, and he said, well, why don't you let him come out for football? So they came out for football in the spring of that year. That was in 53. 
And uh, in the fall of 53, he played his first season. That's when I went into high school coaching. And he, it was just like taking a duck and had him run and run on the pond and all the, run and run on the ground and put him in the water. He just took to it like uh, he just went nuts. He just loved it. He well, just, you're talking about, made me think of Shane Snyder. You're talking about contact. He just loved contact. It looked like he'd been playing football all his life. The first time he started playing. You hate to see this happen. They brought the card out, and it looks like they're going to take Sherwood off. And uh, obviously it's uh, something in his arm. Either uh, might have broken the arm or dislocated the elbow, whatever. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty serious there as... Uh, as uh, they have brought the card out, and they're going to be taking Sherwood off. And you hate to see this happen with 3.59 to go in the first half. You hate to see it happen any time with That's right. any Especially player with, on either team. Right. And <clears throat> I'd have to see a run run of that film, but I still I see it. It looked like he was slipping and falling, and I didn't see that kind of contact. He must have must have cut an arm on the defensive man and then slipped something there. Or he might have jammed it into the ground. Who knows right. for sure what, uh, what happened, but they... They have his arm immobilized with yeah. that uh, air cast. Maybe a dislocation. Yeah. They got back. So they're going to take him off. So David uh, Sherwood, the leading receiver for Kalamazoo, is going to uh, be taken off. And uh, we'll be back ready to play as soon as they uh, clear the field with him. And I'm sure they'll take him probably over to the hospital and have some x-rays taken. Well, he gets a nice hand from the Valparaiso crowd, and and uh, now we're just about ready to go as we get all the trainers yeah, and everybody the off the field. Here comes off the field. Yeah, well, he looks like he's ready to keep all playing. Right. <laughs> so it's going to be looks like fourth he's got down his shoulder and four. pads around his waist. <laughs> fourth down and four at the 29. For the Hornets, Michael Torbel back to receive. There's the kick. It's going to be a short one. It's going to bounce to Tolbert. He'll take it at 35. He break, gets around one man down the corner. Here's the 50, 45. Oh, cuts it back it to the 40 and down to the 38-yard right. line. Great return. Well, I know well, you like him to take it up the got, middle, Coach, but that's how well, work no, going can, outside. You can start up since that inside, and if we got that outside, then you break it out. Then you break it up, but you don't start running. See, there was no ladder running that time. He started up the inside and then just swung, swung it to the outside as we got that contained. That's the difference. There's a big difference there. First and 10 at the 37-yard line, 347 to go in the first half. 24-3, Valparaiso on top, threatening to get more. Wide to the left side goes Doug Holock and uh, Joe Fidolio. The high backfield behind... Router goes back. He's got plenty of time. Fakes. Oh, now rolls pops. right. Flags go down. Oh, and Browder right gets it inside the 30, 25. He might have a holding Still back here. Down to about the 22 or 23, but a flag is down. Holding against Valparaiso. So that will nullify the run by Browder and is going to move it back nearer to midfield for the Crusaders. And they'll mark it from the 40 two yard line. That'll move it out into Crusader territory to the 48. It goes from the spot of the foul, so they lost five right off the bat and then 10 more, so it's a 15 yard penalty the way it works out. We've got first That's going to be first and 25 from the 48-yard line for the Crusaders. So Browder will bring him up now with Heinrich and Holak out wide to the left. Shotgun formation, there's the snap. Nick with plenty of time, stands in, rolls right, dances around, now takes off with it. Comes to the oh, end, here we go. side He's of the 50. Get the outside. He's no, to the no, 45, stops, and down to the 41-yard line. Boy, he slipped when he put that foot down, and I was hoping that he didn't hurt himself, and I guess he didn't. Right. But, it looked for a ooh. moment like he was going to try to, all of a sudden he was going to try to throw the football. Picks up 11, makes it second down 14 at the 41-yard line. He was five yards beyond that line of scrimmage. So it's going to be second down and about 14 yards to go still for the Crusaders. 
Wide to the right side goes Michael Tober. Wide to the left side is Scott Heinrich. Pro set. Mobeck and Rodriguez are your backs. Oh, screen set screen. up. They screened uh, Tober. What a catch in the 40. 35. Still on his feet. Still on his feet. Oh, Down to the outside of the 30. 45. The 40, 50, He's gone. 10, 5, He's touchdown. gone. Oh. <laughs> Swan dives it in for the touchdown. Swan dives with a little Tober. flip into the end zone. Great run. Great a run by 41 Mike yard Tober. touchdown by Mike Tobert. And he was hit. Coach looked like he was down and he just wouldn't fall. Right. You know, I'm not too sure that that screen was intended for him out there in the beginning. With They had two of out. The little back was out there at the same time. Tom Evans on for the That'd extra interesting point. interesting to see. The Crusaders are on the board again. Snap down, kick up. It is good. good. Time out. 2.18 to go in the first half. The Valparaiso Crusaders 31 and Kalamazoo 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Concerned, have questions, call the American Cancer Society. Our people will give you the facts, the truth, the personal guidance to do what's right. To ease your mind, call the American Cancer Society. Hey, where are you safe? Standing in the woods at 3 a.m.? Oh, no, I tried that. Yeah? I got mugged by a bear. <laughs> There's the kick by Evans. Going to be taken deep at about the 7 to the 20, 25. Simpson to the outside to the 30, 31 yard line. That's Thompson. And it'll be first down and 10 for Kalamazoo out at the 31-yard line, 32-yard line. They're going to mark it. Nice tackle by Hornets. Scott Latsky. 31-3, Valparaiso. Two minutes and 10 seconds still to go in the first half. The Crusaders have totally dominated this game. Four touchdowns here in the second quarter. And broke open a 3-3 tie. McDonald Steve sets him down. Over. Wide outs to both sides, I formation. Straight ahead is Wagner, and he'll get it out to the 37-yard line, picks up five. Well, we can anticipate, Coach, a lot of changes before this one's over. Right. So uh, get your uh, roster ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Try to call them all out as we get them if the, they go in. I Probably not until the second half, no, but there will be a lot of changes in the second half before it's I'm over. Sure. At this rate, we'll get the first 30 and a half. We can't. <clears throat> 139 to go. Rolls. McDonald there comes back the other side. He's got a man oh. open. That's number 86 on the sideline. First down. That is uh, Zach Maholer. And Maholer gets it up to the 45. Pickup of eight and a first down. So first and 10 at the 45 yard line. Yeah, well, Tom Horn's got to feel pretty good about it right now. Gets a chance, get a chance. Have to, have to come back for this first team, and here we got to get another touchdown on the board when you come back. Well, at he's the still halftime. pacing. You coaches are never really oh, satisfied, never, are no, you? No. <laughs> no, no, but you still get a little leeway here. Oh yeah, right. over There's the middle, that little middle screen that you talked about, and he got it to Doobie. No, that's a little dump. That's a little dump pass. That's not quite the screen yet. Just short of the first down, he picks up. We'll call it ten. It's going to be second and a half a yard. At the 45 in Crusader territory. Minute 10 to go in the first half. 31 to 3. Valparaiso on top. That's just the old variation of the quick dive and dump to the tight end. Well, there we give it on the draw to Shot Wagner to the 40 to the 35. And down there, Wagner picks up 10. And a first and 10 for Kalamazoo. Their best drive of the ballgame yeah, so far. They're doing a nice job mixing it up right now. 
going to their quick pass, which they have to do. They have to go to their quick pass because they don't have time to throw it. Mixing up with the draw. Nice drive going. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Whiteouts to both sides. Split backs. McDonald goes back. Quick fires step. out here on the left side. Oh, through right the hands of the intended receiver. Maholer and incomplete. The quick look in out there again. Right in his hands. He should have had it. Should have been a completion for him. Matt Culp comes in the ball game, and out goes Art Moline for the Crusaders. On that defensive front, John Harrington, Matt Culp. Yes, is Miller in there? Yeah, Eric Miller and John Paylock Pelliak. just came out. Oh, Paylock in there? Yeah, he's still there. he came out. See us. Okay. There's the stud. McDonald there rolls left, fires it out here, quick out. He's got his receiver, slips and falls at about the 31-yard line. That's 17. Jeff Sokol. See, we're setting back in the zone now with the time run out the half. That's all we're saying. We're not going that man-to-man. -man. We're getting the underneath passes. Saying you're not, okay, we'll let you get the short ones, but you're not going to get a good touchdown before the half. Well, they call a timeout with 30 seconds to go. We'll keep it right here. It's going to be third and six at the 31-yard line as... Uh, Kalamazoo trying to get something on the board before halftime, and I don't know, Coach, in a game like this, uh, psychologically, I guess they almost have to get something up there, even if it doesn't make any difference in the, in the overall scheme of things. I, I agree. Uh, this has been good for them that they've got this drive going for them right now. We, they had to keep possession of the football. They're going to, you notice, do a very quick two, three-step drop right now on all their passes. They mix it up good with the draw play. And the Crusaders are playing it a little bit softer right now with the zone. Saying with the half, we're not going to give you that deep long pass. Seven out of 18 for 67 yards for McDonald so far in the ball game. I have unofficially. It goes back in the shotgun this time. Okay. 30 seconds exactly to go in the half. McDonald goes back, wants to throw, fires it out here. It is in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, and that one should have been caught. Number 86 out there is Maholer, and that's twice he's had the ball in his hands that's and haven't right. caught it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's a la yeah, last two balls should have been caught by him. Well, he might have, might have heard some footsteps coming up because Andre Murphy was coming in a hurry. That's right. But that's why you're out there, isn't it? you got to make that's that right. catch. That's right. You can't hear those footsteps. 25 seconds to go. I hear him. I'm sitting up here. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth down and six at the 31-yard line. The Kalamazoo's last shot to keep this drive alive. Green goes out wide to the right side. Sokol wide to the left. McDonald rolls to the right. Cunningham oh, puts pressure. pressure. Gets there away. Now fires for the end zone. And it's out of play as McDonald had a lot of pressure on him. Rap. Cunningham was after him. And also number six. Josh Burning was after him, but a flag is down right. across the way, offside, Valparaiso. Well, Ooh. that's going to give him another play. Still going to be short of the first Why down, but it's going to be fourth and one at the 26. With 19 seconds to go in the half. This half may never end, I'm not sure. <laughs> How did we get 1B in this whole press box? I don't know. He's gone through the, uh, the whole group. Gus Fanball will be our guest at halftime, the announcer here at the uh, PA announcer at uh, if they Valparaiso got their time Football. Left, they can get a first down here and probably get at least two or three more passes. In. Fourth down and a yard to go from the 26-yard line. McDonald comes up under center this time. He's got the full house backfield. We got the full house. We're going to try to get that first down. Man comes in motion. Sure, there we are. There he rolls. Oh, he throws, throws it, it back okay, the other way. He's got a man wide open. He He's got it. him right. at the five-yard nice line. Nice job. Nice Number job. Number 85, Matt Doobie. Mm -hmm. Came with a play-action pass. We came with a full house backfield from the eye, showing that we were going to go just, like I said, possibly go for that first down so he can throw it. Made the play-action fake and got somebody really steep. Now they're going to call a timeout and uh, nice try to figure it out, what they're going to try to do here. We'll, uh, we'll stay with it right here. And it's going to be first down and goal at the five with 12 seconds to go. The ball actually been marked back at about the six-yard line. As McDonald goes across the way to talk to his coach to figure out what it is he wants to do, it looked like they were going to go right to play. You can call a timeout and not take it. You get the clock stopped, but you don't have to uh, take the full minute uh, timeout. But they finally decided that's what they were going to do after some delay there as 
The Crusaders leading it 31 to three. Have to correct the score there that you just saw. It's 31-3 in, case, in favor of the Crusaders. 12 seconds ago, so they got to be throwing the football now to try to get it in the end zone, stop the clock, or get the TD. Guys down in the truck had some problems with the power failures and stuff. They forgot Let's... to update the score. Right. <laughs> <laughs> They'll get it. First and goal. Or Kalamazoo. There's the quick throw to the out, and the... Receivers curling to the inside. McDonald threw it to the outside. That's going to be second and goal. Took three seconds. How many plays you can get in down here with 12 Isn't that seconds amazing? to go? Isn't it amazing? All right, let's see if the Crusaders are going to come with any blitz here this time. I timed a pro game once. It took 25 minutes to play a minute and 15 seconds. Burning, loosening up. Where's Seymour? Seymour, I'm burning. All right. Shotgun for McDonald. Rolls right. Fires incomplete. This time he threw it to the inside. The receiver curled to the outside. outside. (laughs) Well, they've been off the, uh, they're not on the same page on the last two passes Mm -hmm. at all. Fires crossed. This should be last play. Four seconds. Well, we got one off in three seconds. (laughs) We may have three or four more plays the way this thing's been going. Third down and goal at the five. You know, with our own home man on the clock, he really shouldn't get another play other than this. <laughs> Goes back to throws well, it over the middle. Oh, almost nice job. by Shane Snyder. All right. Snyder All almost right. had his second. It's going to be fourth and goal. It and looked wide it. open. Shane came in at the last minute, knocked that ball away. The first half has come to an end, finally. The Crusaders all over Kalamazoo. Wait a minute. They're going to put a second back on the clock. And it's going to be fourth and goal at the five. Okay. What did I tell you? (laughs) The referee wants one second put back up on the clock. Another three-second play. The half is not over. I said it could be a three-second play. Wow. Wow. Well, I, the, I don't know if they have the clock. Can they set right. this clock like that, or do they have to run it down? They're giving them one they're signaling one more second. Yeah. Well, why don't you just play it, ref, because it doesn't matter. That was a close call. Though. Yeah. Shane Snyder almost had his second interception of the game. He still wants that second up there. It doesn't matter. Just play it. There, it's up on the clock. Now we're ready to go. I think Donald it's safe to say there won't be another play. <laughs> Not unless there's a penalty. McDonald lofts it for the end zone. Oh, and they're throwing the a flag. Yes. Against Murphy, and we're going yeah. to have more. They, we had Murph was in his face, but he tried to come back to him. If Murph would have been playing the ball, we might have got away with it. But Murph wasn't playing the ball that time. So it's going to be fourth and goal at about the two and a half. Told you we could have another play. There we are. Yes. You... <laughs> this, this I'm a great may... analyst. It's safe to say we won't have another play. We got another play. This half may never end. Well, well, how else could you spend a couple of hours, huh? <laughs> All right. Art Moline's going to come in the ball game for the Crusaders. Tom Cunningham's coming out. Now the Crusaders are going to call a timeout. Well, the <laughs> timeout with no time on the clock. Territory, we could try to spread them all over the field and even try to pop a, pop a quick one up the middle yet. Well, they want to talk it over, and there's no time on the clock, but the penalty is going to keep the half going. Let's see where he puts Wagner on this situation. He's got Wagner in the back, so we might want to look for a quick popper. Fourth down and goal. The ball at about the three-yard line. Well, this... Uh, First half has taken a while with a lot of scoring, and now this drive Talking. and injury. It's uh, it's been a long first half of football, but the Crusaders up by 28 points. We've got the free safety and our two inside linebackers, Jeff Seymour and Josh Burning, over there. He's talking to him right now. As the keys watching up, he's on keying on Wagner. Good picture of Jeff Seymour there. You don't get to see him with his helmet off most of the time. Good looking kid, huh? Oh yeah. Overcast, cool nice afternoon here at Valparaiso's Brown Field. No time on the clock. It's fourth down and right. goal. We won't here say we the last play of the half because who knows. 
We're going to take it. Yes. McDonald. There we go. Wagner caught there it is. and yes. did not get in. Didn't make oh, it. just did got So it. they held him out. Seymour on the tackle. And the first I half. Told you, he's keying. He was keying them. First half has finally come to an end. With the score at halftime, the Valparaiso Crusaders 31, Kalamazoo 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Yep. It may be our nation's deadliest disease. Parents pass it to their children. Friends casually infect friends. We try to ignore it, pretend it's not here, but it is here, and it's spreading. Experts predict if we don't stop it by the end of this decade, it could wipe out America's ability to compete, permanently cripple our nation. But there is one cure. A sharp picture requires a crystal clear lens for the camera or for the eye. Cataracts, which cloud the lens of the eye, are common as we grow older. But more than a million times a year, Americans have surgery to treat those clouded lenses with excellent results and a very high rate of success. If your vision is getting worse, chances are modern medicine can help you see better. For a free booklet, write the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. And back we are at halftime where the Crusaders lead Kalamazoo 31 to 3. And our guest at halftime today is the guy that if you come see the Crusaders play, you'll hear on the PA system, Gus Spomberg, who is the uh, longtime PA announcer. How long have you been doing the games? I think I started back in uh, 1981 or 82 and during my first stint as uh, chairman of the English department. So you not only just do this, you have other. That's you have a right. real job too. That's right. I have a day job, <laughs> and uh, it's hard to make a living just doing PA announcing for Crusader games. Although I'm hopeful, the, w the way Tom's uh, Tom Horn's program is going, who knows? This may become a full-time job. Well, it well could be. Uh, what made you decide you wanted to do this? Well, I've got a long family history in football. I played in high school and uh, for one year in college over at Augustana in Illinois, and my daddy was. Uh, all-state football player at Gustavus Adolphus College in Minnesota and uh, and officiated at football games. So we were a football family. And when you, once it gets into your blood, you don't ever want to leave it. It's one of those things, uh, you know, being an announcer myself, I know how that works. You uh, you just kind of get so you like doing it, and uh, even if they didn't pay you, you'd do it. But, of course, if they pay you, that would be nice, too. Another thing, nice thing for me is it's a way to uh, associate with the students outside the classroom. And uh, we like to do that at VU, and I like to do it a lot. That's one of the reasons I've stayed here at 23 years. They're good students, and, and the whole uh, atmosphere is just very much uh, a lot of fun and very enjoyable. I would think that the faculty here has to be very pleased with the way uh, things are going at the university, not only on the athletic side, but the academics, of course, a very well thought of university, number one in the Midwest this year. Uh, uh, it's got to make it a pleasure to be on the, on the staff. It is indeed. Uh, and. Uh, my colleagues uh, and I uh, get a great deal of pleasure out of the work that we're able to do here. We've got a nice blend of uh, teaching and research uh, in and out of the classroom and lots of opportunity to meet with the students and work with them one-on-one uh, -on -one and in small groups. And we think we uh, provide a very good quality educational product here. Thank you for joining us this afternoon and uh, let's hope the second half's as good as the first. You bet. Thank you, Dick. I enjoyed it. Gus Feinberg, who is the uh, PA announcer at Valparaiso Crusader football games. Second half play-by-play -play coming up next. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Listen. Indiana industry. They make a lot of things in Indiana, but they're not making any more of this. The Nature Conservancy works with Indiana people and businesses to help protect tens of thousands of Indiana acres. For tomorrow, for information or to help, call 1-800-YES-LAND. The Nature Conservancy, quietly preserving Indiana. The most common warning sign of skin cancer is an odd-looking mole. <laughs> no, don't get burned. A message from the American Cancer Society. Before going out in the sun, apply a little block to your face. <laughs> no. Help rub out skin cancer, a message from the American Cancer Society. If you want to reduce your risk of skin cancer, get a little shade. Hmm. Uh, don't get burned, a message from the American Cancer Society. 
Ready to go with the second half. 31-3, Valparaiso is the second half gets ready to start. Tom Evans ready to do the kicking. The Crusaders have totally dominated this game. We'll get you some of the statistics as we get going here. I'm not sure what the holdup is all of a sudden, but I uh, thought they were ready to go. Crusaders with 12 first down, 7 for Kalamazoo, 135 yards rushing, 132 passing. To Kalamazoo's 33 yards rushing and 87 passing. Kicks going deep. It's oh, fumbled. It. Picked up Boom. and down he goes right there. Boy, I'll tell you what. You don't ever want to do that. <laughs> they were right on him. That was Thompson, and he was really blasted. First and 10, Kalamazoo. They'll have it at the 17-yard line as we start the second half of play. Well, I checked out the injury on our on our little receiver for Kalamazoo was the Olecranon process, better known to you as a fractured elbow. Okay. I was going to say, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> First and 10 at the 17-yard line. McDonald rolls, gets it off to Wagner off the left side, and Wagner dives out to about the 19. Might have got the 20 out of it as he uh, starts the second half. Here's the uh, individual statistics in that first half. The leading ground gator, Nick Browder, 58 yards on nine carries, 51 for Rodriguez, 18 for Trevor Bell. Browder is eight out of 15 for 132 yards and two touchdowns, and we got a man down there. That's... Uh, Switch it off. So that's 78 or 38. Scott French, 79, the 6'5", 245-pound senior, is down. Scott French, 79. And then uh, they're look working on his ankle. So we'll take a quick break. 14:41 to go in the third quarter. It's Valparaiso 31, and Kalamazoo three. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Hi, I'm Frankie Avalon. Some decisions we make when we're young can have lasting effects, like messing with drugs. Now, drugs can ruin a life before it really has a chance to get started. Your local Naval Reserve has a program that shows kids the dangers of experimenting with drugs. There are programs for three separate age groups. To arrange a presentation to your group, call your nearest Naval Reserve activity. Morning, Fred. Morning, George. Good morning, Mrs. Applewhite. <laughs> Lyle. Good morning, George. Forgetting things? Good morning. Morning, George. Remember this. Forgetfulness may not be what you think. Cool out, isn't it? Why, yes, it is. Find out more for a free booklet called 1-800-438-4380. out here to McDonald as we go back to play intended for number 17 uh, that is Jeff Sokol it's broke up by Andre Murphy it's going to be third down and eight well played by Murph come on in and took the ball out of his hands passing in that first half Browder eight out of 15 132 yards McDonald eight out of 23 for 87 yards and Crusaders just dominant in every every facet of the ball game in that first half they lead it 31 to 3. 14.24 to go in the third quarter. Third down and eight at the 19 yard line. McDonald on the option pitch to the outside. He's got Simpson and he'll get it up to the 22 yard line where Shahid knocks him down to pick up a three. It's going to be fourth down and five. So <clears throat> Shahid came up real good on that play. The corners have been coming up real good, making good tackles. So the Crusaders. Well played. <laughs> have held again and we'll be taking it over after the punt Michael Tolbert stands at about his own 40 yard line to receive there's the snap and everybody's coming and he got it away end over end Tolbert's going to take it at the 47 to the 50 to the 45 and there's no blockers there to help him as they went for the block that time but Michael did a good job as the sun tries to break through here at Brownfield and it's first and 10 Valparaiso at the Kalamazoo 46 yard line. Tobert, I'm impressed. He does a good job with that. But there goes my point again. By he, he looks straight up the field first. With that, he's got his shoulder squared away. And he made two moves on two tacklers down there that he evaded them. 
Yeah, maybe he didn't make the yards, but he turned and going sideways, and Eddie couldn't take his head off. Manoli goes wide to the right. Holick goes wide to the left. Darren Jackson, the tight end, is in tight. I formation backfield. That's Bobick and Rodriguez. Browder on the, the options. Got it at the 40 to the 38-yard line. Nick Browder off the right side. Picks up eight. Going to be second down and two. Well, Nick's well on his way. He's already got over 100 yards pass, and he's well on his way now with this to get himself a 100-yard rushing. Well, that takes him up to 66 for the day yeah. and uh, 10 carries. It could be a big day. It already is a big day. Well, they always knew he could run. Right. <laughs> it's the passing that's been right. suspect, but today he's been on target. Of course, today he's had today time he's had, to throw it. Right, he's had excellent protection. The offensive line has done an outstanding job. Ryder calls out the signals, gives it to Bobak. Bobak off the right side, breaks oh, a tackle at the 30, job. still on his feet, 25, and down to the 24-yard wow. line. A pickup of 14 for Nate Bobak and a first down. Nice job by Bobak. So first and 10 at the 24-yard line for the Crusaders. As it really lightens up here is the sun trying to break through all those clouds. I don't think it's going to come through, but uh, kind of pleasant to see some warmth. <laughs> First down and 10 at the 24 for the Crusaders. High formation. Crowder on the option. Now he's going oh. to cut it back the other way. Breaks a tackle, and now he's smothered as he is caught back at about the 28-yard line. Number 99, Tom Swijak's the guy he couldn't get away from, so Browder is going to lose a few. That whole thing was created by one of the uh, defensive linemen came across, got across that line of scrimmage and made and made Nick get depth early on the option, and you don't want to have to do that. That's what that's what fouled that one up. Loss of three on the play, make it second down, 13 back at the 27-yard line. You got to try to run that option on the line of scrimmage. Jackson slot this time on the left side as they have Holock and Heinrich wide receivers to both sides and Browder goes back on a fire for Heinrich oh, behind him. Yeah, touchdown. touchdown. Nick Browder to Scott Heinrich for 27 yards and the Crusaders are on the board again. That was a well thrown ball. The only thing is, I still get amazed sometimes at our receivers going out on that pass. That pass has to be thrown to the outside. And first he was looking for that ball over his inside shoulder. Had to do the spin around to make the catch again. Sound like a coach. Well, <laughs> Tom Evans on for the extra point kick. It's up and it is good. So Evans drills it. There's time out on the field. 11.36 to go. Third quarter. It's now Valparaiso 38. Calabaso 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. I'm Nancy Wilson. An important study, the Breast Cancer Prevention Trial, is underway to get some answers about a medication that may prevent breast cancer. But we won't get an answer about how the medication affects us unless more of us participate in the study. If you're 60 or over, or younger, and breast cancer runs in your family, call 1-800-FOR-CANCER to find out more information about the Breast Cancer Prevention Trial. In our hands rests the ability to lift those who have fallen, to comfort those who are troubled, to guide those who could be lost. It is the greatest power we hold, and there is no greater way to make it felt than through your united way, working harder than ever to make a lasting impact in the lives of the needy and in the hopes of your entire community. Please support your united way. There's the kickoff as Evans approaches, goes deep. Going to be taken by Thompson at the 5, east of the 10, 15. Comes to the outside of the 20 and falls down at about the 21 or 22-yard line. Well, you're running uphill there, you know. <laughs> well, actually, he was coming down here. There's a little yeah, indentation a little crown in the down middle here. Yeah. And his legs went lower than he did. Well, that's, that's that home field advantage. You know that if you that's play right. here all the time. And dip well, the, the sunshine dip is out. at the 20-yard line. Boy, it is... Beautiful out there. Beautiful day. First and 10 at the 23 yard line for Kalamazoo, trailing 38 3 with 11 and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. 
It's all Crusaders today. Tom Horn has taken off the jacket. He's ready now. First down and 10. McDonald goes back, fires it out here. He's got Green. And Green is going nowhere. He made the catch at about the 28, and that's where he stopped. Well, if we keep the ball on the ground and keep it in and keep running the clock, we might have time for 18 holes afterwards. Jeff. Second down and four at the 29. They got the 28, second down and five. They got five yards on the pass play. Second down and five at the 28 yard line for the Hornets. Out wide to the right side goes Sokol. Wide to the left side is Maholer. And McDonald goes back, gives it straight ahead. Oh, breaks, hey, Simpson breaks, breaks a tackle. He gets it across the 35, 36 yard line. Out to the 37, pick up a nine and a first down. A nice run by Simpson. Snyder getting up slow there. Oh, he's all right. Well, Shane probably not low, hurt. He's got not the head down there. He's just not happy. Right. That's all. He said, I, I had a shot at him. I didn't get him. Got to keep that mask on him, Shane. It's one of the things about uh, Shane Snyder you like. It bothers him when he doesn't make the tackle. First and 10 at the 37. Has a man coming motion to the near side is Sokol. On the option, the pitch to Wagner, trying to get around the corner. And he's got it for a yard, maybe two yards. Where Josh burning it on that tackle. A little extracurricular over there. Pick up a two, make it second down and eight at the 39. Yeah, good example of the swarm defense. Murphy come up, took the lead block around to the, on the outside shoulder, just the way he should. The back tried to cut to the inside, and our defensive pursuit was right there. The swarm all over him. That's the main thing you want is for the Murphy. first guy to turn him in and let That's everybody right. come and help, right? And then he got that, what we call it, the swarm defense. Second down and eight at the 39-yard line. Sokol in motion, and McDonald's going to have to call a timeout. He doesn't like what he sees out there, and was about to run out of time. Only had one second on the play clock. So there's timeout, 9.41 to go, third quarter. Valparaiso 38, and Kalamazoo 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Can I see Latin lunch? If it's going to happen for you, it's because you make it happen. Radio check, three, triple six, seven miles northeast with the cardiac. The answer could be an Air Force ROTC scholarship. You'll get an education and the training to become an Air Force officer. With an Air Force ROTC scholarship, you can go as far as your talent and drive take you. Aim high, Air Force. When pressure gets too high, there's trouble. High blood pressure can lead to heart attacks, kidney failure, and stroke. And you can have high blood pressure even if you feel all right. Fortunately, it's easy to check your blood pressure. And if it's too high, your doctor can treat it effectively. So get your blood pressure checked. It's one of the simplest and most important things you can do for yourself and the people you love. To learn more, write the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. And we missed one play when we got there, and I apologize to the Harrington family. <laughs> they just missed son right. John coming in and making a sack Come in all the way back right to the 30-yard line. From the word go. So a loss of nine on the play. It's going to be third and 17 back at the 30-yard line. They have not taken the entire minute timeouts today, right. so we missed a play there. But uh, Harrington came in from the uh, defensive end position and made the sack back at the 30-yard line. McDonald's into the shotgun this time. He there rolls. Harrington's after him. Pressure him again. Now he's going to take off with it out to the 34 and then says, I better get out of here. Because Latsky was coming up from the front. The Harrington was chasing him from the back. And he picks up four. It's going to be fourth down 13. He was looking for another sack and lost the contain. So fourth down 13 at the 34-yard line. 8.50 to go in the third quarter. 38-3, to three, Valparaiso on top. Michael Tolbert's going to be deep. Andre Murphy's going to be short, just in case. There's the snap, a low snap. Left-footed kicker gets it up. Not very Not deep. Tolbert's going to have to get away from this one. Takes a Valparaiso bounce up at about the 36 or 37, and that's where the Crusaders are going to start at first down and 10. Well, 
As you said, it took a Valparaiso bounce. The ball bounced and came back that time. Looked like one of my pitch shots, or the way I wish my pitch shots would work anyway. Well, if we get the offense going here right now, Coach Tom Horn will be ordering the menu from the court and be looking forward to supper already. Rolando in at quarterback, so the Crusaders making some changes here. The backfield is number five at fullback. That is uh, Maurice Watkins. And the running back is number 31. That is Caron Stokes. Stokes will take it off the left side. He's got some room at the 40, 42, 43-yard line. Picks up six, make it second and four. So the Crusaders making a lot of changes with the big lead. Let's see if we can get that offensive line. Jacob Adams is still in there. Also 69, Mark Elijah. Lines intact. 75, Bennett is still in there. Lions is still in there. So they haven't made any changes up front. Mike Shimi, uh, the center, really solidified that position today. Having their first string center back from what they anticipated would be has helped them a lot today. But only go out wide to the right, the I formation. The handoff is to the fullback. Watkins and Watkins will carry for maybe a yard up to the 34 yard line where it's going to be third and three. Well, Coach Adams, the, the backfield coach, has to be very happy about this. He's getting a chance to play a lot of his players that he mentioned in the beginning of the ball game and get a good look at them. This is early in a ball game, so I'm sure we'll see some more before we're done. Well, Rolando, the backup quarterback, has uh, had an interesting career at Valparaiso. Two years ago, he played a lot of the time when Rob Rail was hurt. Last year, lost his uh, second position to Nick Browder, but uh, came in and did some good work on occasion. And this year, he's the backup again. Gives it straight ahead nice to job. Watkins, and Watkins carries it to the first down up at the 49-yard line. Just sheer power that time. Picked up five on the first down, Crusaders. Well, it's great to see the Crusaders able to be in this position. There haven't been that many games in the last few years, Coach, where they've been able to uh, do what they want to do, experiment, play some other kids, and uh, see everybody. Yeah, this is this is luxury time. Get a chance to play all your kids. Can Tolbert. relax just a little bit up in there right now, but the kids can't. Tolbert goes out wide to the right. And it tied in for the Crusaders is Jim Dunham. I formation backfield is Rolando. Now we got a flag down. Somebody's doing something. Too Somebody much time, moved. I think the clock ran out. Oh, delay, delay game. game. Yep. So the delay is going to cost them five yards. That'll put it back at the 44, where it's going to be first down of 15. 6.50 to go, third quarter. 38-3, Valparaiso on top. The Crusaders blew this thing wide open with 28 points in the second quarter after a 3-3 tie. After one, the Crusaders just blew it wide open in the second period, and they're coasting right now, 38-3. First and 15 at the 44 for Mike Rolando and the Valparaiso offense. Rolando rolls right, stands in, wants to throw, throws oh. it back, tipped and intercepted. Off his hands and intercepted. It was tipped by one of the Hornets. And then into the hand of another Hornet. And they'll have it first down and 10 at the Hornet 45-yard line. Cooper, our tight end, I think deflected. It was in his hands and went off his hand. So first and 10 Kalamazoo at their own 45. <laughs> With six and a half minutes to go here in the third quarter. 38-3 the score. Now Parazo on top. Out wide to the right side of Sokol. Wide to the left side is Maholer. Splits the backs. McDonald going back. He wants to throw. Oh, Stands and fires deep and oh. overthrows Sokol. That's several times today, Coach, that he's thrown the ball way too far. His receivers can't get there that quick. He had good protection that time to throw the football, too. The Staters didn't get the pressure on that time. So it's second down and 10. I'm going to give him time to throw the ball. Coming into the ball game or coming into today's game, McDonald, let's see if I have his passing. There it is. Uh, was hitting on 65.5% of his passes. He's been nowhere near that today. He's down around 30%. Second down, 10 at the 45. McDonald comes in. The swing pass out to Simpson, and Simpson will get it across the 50 to the 49 yard line. So he. 
picks up six. It's going to be third down and four at the 49. They've had good success with that swing and flare pass today to the to the running back. Six minutes and eight seconds to go in the third quarter. With the Crusaders on top, 38-3. 5.45 to go. Donald, the quick pitch to Wagner. Wagner oh, tries to come off shot. the left side. Got a big hit there as he got maybe a yard. It's going to be fourth down and three. And again, Kalamazoo faced with a fourth down situation. Another excellent job of defensive pursuit. They took the outside away, made the cut back inside, and right. it was just met by several university defenders. Did a good job. Going to have to punt it away. It'll be Kelly back. Schneider is going to go back to return this one. Shane hasn't been back there yet this year. It is some last which year. Does a pretty that, good job at it. Which means they're still looking for the perhaps a fake first. There's the kick. By leaving Shane and Schneider. Oh, Bubble no! the football. It's loose. Picked yes, up oh, by Murphy. Andre Murphy dived on it and recovered for the Crusaders. And they'll have it first down and 10 back at about the 19-yard line. I think the reason we saw Shane back there right now is that our defensive coordinator right now is perhaps anticipated that they would be doing a fake punt and better have a pass defender rather than a punt returner. We're going to have to take a break. You are watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Rolando rolls to the right and is caught and dropped. Number 93, Steve Tack gets in there and knocks Mike down at about the 12-yard line. A loss of seven on the play. It'll be second down and 17 at the 12. 4.37 to go in the ballgame. Coming into the ballgame for the Crusaders, number 82, that is Scott Williams from Fort Wayne Homestead High School in Indiana. Got to see a lot of different players in here that uh, you normally won't see. Number 29 in there at tailback is Jody Hart, the guy that Bill was talking about earlier. Orlando sets him down. Wants the fire. He's got a man open over the middle. Cooper, and he missed him. Threw that one maybe a little bit too hard right over the middle, trying to go to the tight end. Cooper, and it's going to be third down and seven at the 12 for the Crusaders. 4-10 to go, third quarter. We got John Bennett in there at tackle too instead of Lions now. Seventy-five Good. for seventy-four, so we got a new tackle in there. Considering the threatening weather, a very, very good crowd on hand again today. Out wide to the left side comes number eighty. That's uh, Josh Elwine. Wide to the right is Hart. Rolando goes back on to take it on the quarterback yeah, keep. Right. He's to the twenty. Oh. Yeah. Almost he's lost doing, the ball, did lose it, he doing and it's going to be recovered by He's running with Kalamazoo. that ball in one hand, and he tried to keep himself from falling by putting the ball down. Now, that's, no, that's a no-no all the way. So it'll be first and 10 at the 19-yard line for Kalamazoo Let's see. on the Will turnover. Coach Adams be meeting him at the sideline with a little discussion? First down and 10 at the 19-yard line for Kalamazoo as the Crusaders turn it over. McDonald brings him up to the line of scrimmage. Sokol goes out wide to the left side. Green goes out wide to the right. The I formation backfield. McDonald going back. Wants to throw. Fires it out here and nowhere near it. He was getting tremendous pressure right up the middle. Latsky and Palyak were there. Second and ten. We had a blitz coming from the outside. They put great pressure on him, so he had to throw the ball away. Dick Harlan, Bill Cook with you from Brownfield on the campus of Valparaiso University where the Crusaders are rolling right now this afternoon. 38-3 over the Kalamazoo Hornets. The Hornets have never been in this ballgame since it was tied 3-3. Next week, the Crusaders will be in San Diego and then uh, back for homecoming on the 8th of October against Butler. That'll be our next telecast. McDonald to the end zone. Almost oh, intercepted by, by Shaheed. Saul, Shaheed. And incomplete. It'll be third and ten. Nice effort by Saul. Jeez, I, had, I saw Paylock dropping off the cover of the swing pass that time. So our next telecast will be the homecoming game. Butler University here on October 8th. 
check your channel listings for the time and the date in your cable system. It'll be on Saturday night, the 8th, and the U.S. are on the multimedia, Channel 23. And on the U.S. cable that next Thursday night at 7. Channel 16. McDonald going back to throw. Looks, looks, under pressure, now fires. Incomplete. As Tom Cunningham had him, and Paliak also coming in there. Harrington also coming up the middle. And it's going to be fourth down at 10. He threw that one away, but boy, you don't want to throw it in that end zone. You want to throw it a little bit harder. Make sure you get it out of that end zone when you're going to do that. Fourth down and 10 at the 19-yard line for Kalamazoo. So they're faced with another fourth down opportunity. Seems like they've had a lot of these today, Coach. Fourth and long. We haven't got quite the pressure on him right now that we had on in the first half, though. McDonald's. He's got a little more time to throw that Fires football. Fires over the middle, too high. Intended for number 30, who's at the ball game. That is uh, Nate Bull. And the Crusader defense is held again and will take it over first down and 10 at the 19. All right, good job. Let's see who comes in at quarterback. It'll be Mike Rolando they're talking to on the sidelines. So Rolando will be back in at quarterback. McHale in that line along with Jacob Adams is there. Shimi is still there. The tight end is going to be Jim Dunham. Watkins and Hart are the running backs. Out wide to the right side is L.Y. Gives it off to Hart. Hart trying to get around the corner. Gets it out over the 20, out to the 21, maybe the 22-yard line. Jody Hart, a 5'9", 168-pound freshman from Oak Park, Illinois, Fenwick High School, picks up a couple of yards, second down and eight. 3.15 to go, third quarter. Scott Williams comes in with the play. He'll go out wide to the right side. Double tight ends with Krooper and Dunham. Dunham. And off is to Hart again, trying to get there around the corner. Hart. He's the, the 25 corner. to the 30-yard right. line and slips down as he tries to make the turn there. Maybe the 31-yard line. Going to have enough for a first down as he picks up 10. Uh, that's good speed. Yep. He's uh, he, he makes that turn. That, that's the speed again and making that play. First down and 10 at the 31-yard line for the Crusaders. Two minutes and 40 Five seconds to go, third quarter. Crusaders on top, 38-3. Orlando with Watkins and Hart behind him again. Wants to throw. Now rolls out to the right, gets away from one man. He's going to keep it himself, tries to get around the corners, caught and dropped. He gets out of bounds at about the 31 or 32-yard line. So give him a yard, make it second and nine. Well, this is a, an interesting type of ball game, I think, for, from a coach's standpoint, uh, Bill, and the fact that uh, you've been down there on the sideline. You want everybody to play, but you uh, you don't want to run it up on somebody. But on the other hand, you have to let the kids run the plays you want to run. That's right. The ones that are in there, you've got to give them a chance to, to perform and do what they can do, too. You can't say, you know, go back. But they're doing a good They're. It's a good job right now. Rolando needs to get this playing time in there again. Over to Cooper, oh. and just as the ball got there, so did number nine, Kenny Henderson, who put a lick on him. Henderson got the worst of it, but the ball did go incomplete. And it'll be third and nine at the 32-yard line. We were throwing into a crowd that time. 47 in the ball game. That is uh, Caius Swopes. Swopes, a 6'1", 163-pound freshman from North Chicago. He'll come out wide to the left side. Hart is the wing on the right. Only one back, that's Watkins behind Rolando. Mike takes the snap. They go on the reverse to Hart. Hart for the 35, out across the 35 to the 36, maybe the 37-yard line. They'll give him five, make it fourth down and four, and the Crusaders going to have to kick it away. 
Two minutes to go here in the little little late third on quarter. Jacob Adams that time. They had a little conversation down on the field to try to get that ironed out. So Dan Kepke on to punt it away. Kepke, the 6'1", 184 pound freshman from Northside High School in Fort Wayne. A snap and a kick, nice kick. Going to be taken at about the 27 yard line. He's to the 30, to the outside is Thompson to the 35, 40, 45 and down at about the 46, maybe the 47 yard line. That's where Kalamazoo will take it first down and 10. Oh, Scott that time. It looked like he was going to do a good job of keep contained. He cut on outside, but then uh, he went in with a little hip fake. And the guy got to the outside on him, got the extra 12 yards. First down and 10 at the 47-yard line for the Crusaders. Minute 25 to go in the first half of play, or the third quarter of play, I should say. First and 10. McDonald sets him down, goes straight back, wants to throw. The screen over the middle. Oh, right there. Oh. Just dropped it. Dropped it. He was Wagner. running with that football before he caught it. Wagner oh, dropped so it. Second often. down and 10 at the 47. So often you see that. Oh, I can see yardage, and they take their eye off the ball, and that's it. Look upfield, and that's all she wrote. Can't run with it to catch it, can you? That's right. The old adage, but also true. Second down and 10 at the 47 yard line. Well, we got a new cornerback in here, too. Who's this? 26 out there. That Devona. is uh, Noel Devona. And shotgun as McDonald goes go. back. He's being oh, under a lot of pressure. Fires it out here, and he throws it short. Tended for Sokol. Matt Murphy, outside linebacker, put the pressure on. So it's going to be third down and 10 at the 47-yard line. Oh, that's so tough when you're coming from the outside and you got the rush and you got that quarterback in your sights. You can just see that you're going to knock them down. That's when they take that step outside and go. Well, third down and 10. Donald looks... It over, barks out the signal. Goes straight back. Cunningham's got him. Cunningham got oh! him. Oh! Just as he got rid of it, Tom Cunningham leveled him, and he's not getting up. Well, Almost I'll tell you what. Accepted by burning then, too. There's a chance right there, Coach, where you can hurt some ribs. Because right. just as he was throwing, oh, he's Tom Cunningham unloaded. Got it in the arm. Fourth down and 10. And, and they're going to have to kick it away again. Uh, he'll be all right. Oh, a minute and 11 to go in the third quarter. One thing, we don't want to see them lose another plow player. Well, Tolbert back to receive. There's the kick. Oh, great oh, kick this time. Punt. Good Fair punt. Good called for. He gets oh, away from it. Good takes bounce a for them. Kalamazoo bounce. It's going right. to be down at about the 11-yard line. It was a good call by our man. It was high and going deep. He signaled for the fair catch with the 10-yard line. If it's not there, let it go in the end zone. That ball hit and just bounced straight back up in the air. So first and 10 Crusaders at their own 11. Mike Rolando comes on to run the attack. Try to pick up who all he's got in there with him. 65 in there, John Kreider. 75, John Bennett that's across the front. Mike Shimi. And Mark Elijah is still in there. Tight ends are Krooper and uh, Dunham. A Josh L line out here at receiver too, freshman. And somebody moves. That is, I believe, uh, Cracknall. Yep, Cracknall moved too quick. He was the fullback. Bob Cracknell, the 5'10", 190-pound freshman from Hermosa Beach, California. Well, that'll make it first and 15 back at the six. Cracknell going to come out. Yeah, we got another Fort Wayne boy in there, Tim Tipman from Bishop Dwinger High School, Fort Wayne, Indiana. Darren Merrick is right in, now. number 87. Well, that'll move it back to the six. First down, 15 at the six. 54 seconds still to go in this third quarter. Crusaders on top, 38-3. This game has slowed down considerably. <laughs> 
Rolando spins, hands it off. The running back gets it up over the 10-yard line is Stokes. Karen Stokes. And Stokes will carry it for about five. It's going to be second down and 10 back at the 11. Crusaders continue to rotate. Scott Williams goes in. As Merrick Another comes wide out. receiver from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Homestead High School. High formation. Tipman at fullback. Stokes. Okay, nice pitch. the outside is Stokes. Here we go, Stokes. Stokes. Oh, Stokes. yes. Hit at the 20 down to the 21 mm. yard line. And that's going to be it. The end of the third quarter of play. With the score, the Valparaiso Crusaders. 38, Kalamazoo 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Designated smoking areas approved by the American Cancer Society. <sighs> Secondhand cigarette fumes can kill. Ask a smoker to please keep his distance. It had to be you. It had to be you. Families are built on love, real love. And it's this love your children need even when they make mistakes or fail at what they're trying. When you build on a foundation of love, you're building a real family. Your fault. I love you still. It had to be you. Wonderful you. It had to be you. All right. So, on the uh, first play of the fourth quarter, the Crusaders uh, called for a legal procedure that sets them back to the 16. It's first down 15, back at the 16 yard line. So, the Crusaders. Cooper takes off, now goes back, stands there, he's going to be set. Orlando hands off to the fullback straight ahead. That is uh, number 38, Tim Tipman. Tipman got a couple of yards, and that's going to be all. Wasn't that nice of him to give us an illegal procedure when we had the camera out? <laughs> so we didn't, well, you so, have, we didn't so we didn't miss anything yeah, exciting? Got to have some help down here right. once in a while. Going to move the ball up to the 19 where it's going to be second down and 12 for the Crusaders. Mike Rolando at quarterback. The I formation backfield. Goes back, throws dump. it over the middle. He's okay, got Cooper. there's that Cooper little dump to Cooper. And across right. the 35 to the 38-yard line. All right. Picks up 19 on the play. First down, Valparaiso. A little fake dive into the line. Freeze the linebackers and a quick dump to the tight end. I still say that's a good yeah, it's a good play for the linebackers to freeze those babies. Rolando, I think a couple of times today, Coach, looked like he buzzed that ball a little bit too right. hard. That time he took some stuff off of it, and it was an easy catch for Cooper. First down and 10 at the 38. Good fake with the fullback. Mike Rolando barks out his signals. Oh, well, we got a blitz coming. Uh, he runs oh, into his fullback, so right. he takes it himself and gets it out across the 40, picks up three. It'll be second down and seven. And you were running into an eight-man line with a stack. He had both linebackers on a blitz. Second down and seven at the 41-yard line for the Crusaders. They continue to rotate. Scott Williams in, and out goes Jim Dunham. Backfield is 38. That is uh, Tim Tipman and 31, Karen Stokes. I know with wide men out to both sides. Takes his time up there. Parks the signals. The pitch to Stokes. Trying to get around the corner. And he's going to get it to the 40 to the 41. Right back to the line of scrimmage. And that's all he's going to get out of it. Nice pursuit action by the Hornets that time. On their own. So it'll be third down and seven at the 41. The Crusaders led it 31-3 at half. It's 38-3 now. We're... About two, a little over two minutes into the fourth quarter. 
14 in the ball game. That's Dave Massat. Massad listed at a quarterback. He's a 6'1", 185-pound freshman from Tinley Park, Illinois, Andrew High School. Cracknell in at fullback again. Orlando barks it out, fakes, gives it off to Stokes, got some room at the 45, flag is down at the 47, and down there, but a flag is down. No first down. Stokes got it out to the 47-yard line, but let's see what it's going to be. That's usually where somebody moved too quick. We're going back. That's it. Illegal procedure against the Crusaders. Well, I would, well, I don't know. They may not take it to figure the Crusaders would punt it with this big lead. They're short of the first down, so it's going to be a fourth down situation. That's one you got to think about. He's going to have fourth and one if they take it. And then it goes back to third and 15. And uh, they are going You're to take the looking for field position. You set, set them on back. Well, third and 12. It'll move it yeah. back to the 36 where it'll be third down and 12. Well, you figure Tom Horn is going to punt it if you take it, make it a fourth down situation right. uh, with this big lead. But, uh, again, you're talking looking field position. Looking talking so. field position. So it's third down and 12 at the 36. 12 20 to go in the ball game. And they wind the clock. The wide receiver Kazi swoops in there. Right. Crusaders have turned it over to the guys who practice all the time and don't get to play that much. They're getting an opportunity the to land over the shotgun. Goes back, fires it right over, over the, middle. the middle. There we are. He's got uh, his receiver who won't go down. Still Whoa, swoops. Oh, but we're losing ground. Trying to get away. A flag goes down. Flags all over the field. Swoops never did go down. No. <laughs> they finally blew the whistles back at about the 35, but there are flags everywhere holding against... Valparaiso, I think, but I'm not sure. If it is, it will be turned down. He wouldn't go down. They kept those feet moving, but every time they kept swinging them backwards, we kept losing two or three yards. Well, the Crusaders had two penalties. They had a legal receiver downfield. They had holding both turned down. They'll take the play, a loss of a yard. It'll be fourth and 13. So fourth down, 13. The Crusaders going to have to kick it away as Dan Kepke's on. So right now is a good decision on the Hornets' part yep. to take the penalty on the last third down. Well, the Crusaders will kick it away as Kepke gets ready to boot it. High snap. Kepke oh, did a good nobody job. coming. Guy. Nice high kick. High Kirk snap. Gets called and made nobody by Thompson coming. at about the 21. They had a return on. They had a high snap, and they had nobody coming at all. He could almost take it off and run that football. They were all turning back. Nobody saw the high you, snap. Uh, if you knew it was going to be that, oh, you'd right. sit there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the hindsight is good as your far side. Sure. First and to... 10 at the 21. You always Four have eight. one man coming. Now, one man should always be going. Yeah. Keep the pressure. First down and 10 at the 21. McDonald stays in at quarterback. He's got Nelson and Wagner still behind him. He's going to spin, give it off to Wagner, straight ahead off the right side, and Wagner uh, fights his way out to about the 25. He'll pick up four. Second down and six at the 25-yard line. Second down and six, just across the 25-yard line. Wide to the left side comes Maholer. Wide to the right side is Sokol. They flip-flop the tight end. That's Doobie. McDonald going back, wants to throw, dumps it out here to Nelson. Caught and drop. Good play that time, and he lost the football, but they're going to say he was down. Great tackle by Kurt Sajowski. Sajowski, a 5'10", 189-pound freshman from West Dallas, Nathan Hale High School, Wisconsin. Did a good job of coming up to make the tackle. We've also got Tim Risen in there now. 
playing at the, look like he's at the Crusader back. Well, that's going to be third down and seven at the and 24. Yeah. But I, well, they got a lot of people playing certainly not quarterback different positions. Now. Corner out there, Noel DeBona. Let's see, the safety is uh, Latsky. 27 Latsky. And we got 43 on the other corner. That is uh, Matt Barker. McDonald under a lot of pressure. Rolls wants to throw. Still having 41. trouble now. Finally out. Throws there intercepted by the Crusaders. Number 63, Jeff, Jeff Lolly. Well, there's one where you just never should have thrown that football, Coach. There's just no way he was going to get rid of that ball and make it go anywhere. Now he was pressured. If he's going to throw it, he throws it out of bounds. You don't throw it inside. He threw it back to the inside. Lolly with the interception. No First and 10 Crusaders at the 25 with 10 minutes to go. Lolly, a 6'3", 250-pound freshman from Hammond Gavin High School. Pressure was put on him by Willie Little. Yep. The third. Defensive end. The third. The <laughs> third. Right. Willie the third. Swopes out wide to the right. Cracknell the only setback behind Mike Rolando. Double wing. Wide outs to both sides. Cracknell straight ahead. Cracknell's got some room as he drives inside the 20 yard line. Might have got to the 19. Picks up about five on the play. It'll be second and five. Fourteen in there. That's uh, Massat. And out goes Swopes. Eighty-seven. Merrick comes back in. We'll try to keep all this straight for you as best we can. Crusaders on top, thirty-eight to three, with nine and a half minutes to go in the ball game. Wide to the right side is Massat. Cracknell, the lone setback again in that double wings formation. Orlando goes back this time. Wants to throw. Has pressure. Gets away. Steps away oh, at the 15. Nice job. Over to the 10. To the five, yes. oh. to the one, down yeah. at the two-yard line. Well, in the pros, he would have scored, but not in college. First and goal at the two for Mike Rolando. What a move he made, Coach, back at about the 12-yard line. Sure did. He bounced off him. They had a spin off of there. He did a great effort. Oh, he's getting back in the swing of things now. That's why I say that's why a game like this is so important. Geez, Trevor's in his civilian clothes already down there. Yeah, he hasn't played this whole, uh, this whole second half. No. I'm not sure what the deal is there with Trevor Bell, but uh, he has not played yeah, much. We're going to let him catch games. up on his homework. You know, Trevor is, a, besides being an outstanding football player, Crack is Bell, also, straight ahead, gets it down to the one-yard line. Is also an outstanding student. Yes. And I mean A student and straight A from the word go. Well, believe it or not, I played basketball against Trevor Bell in the old Kiwanis Rotary thing. Remember when they were talking oh, yes. about the, uh, well, oh, Trevor's the guy right. that guarded me, and I scored, a, <laughs> I scored exactly none. But I did tell him one thing. I said, you don't run, I won't run. <laughs> I don't think he was worried about me running. Though. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Orlando with the eye formation this time as he's got Cracknell and Hart behind him. Mike barks out the signals, rolls himself. Pitch to Hart. Hart in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown. Nice job. Nice job, Orlando. Nice left-handed pitch. He let him out there. Excellent job. And the Crusaders are over the 40 mark. 44 to 3. Nice execution of the option. Tom Evans on to try the extra point kick again. Saul Shahid is the holder. Triple option is an excellent play down on a, on a goal line. Snap is down. The kick is up. Oh, low kick, but he got it, kick, through. got it through. So there's timeout. 8-14 to go in the ball game. It's Valparaiso 45, Kalamazoo 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. The risk of two very serious birth defects can be easily avoided when women of childbearing age get the right amount of a B vitamin called folic acid, starting now before planning a baby. Shriners Hospitals for Crippled Children has a free brochure with helpful information about sources of folic acid and how much to take and why you need to get the right amount before getting pregnant. Send for yours today or ask your doctor. A simple vitamin can help avoid a serious problem. 
You know those punk gangs who walk around our streets? They say that they're bad. Or how about those sissy drug dealers trying to kill our children? They think that they're bad. Well, guess what? They're not bad. I'm bad, and I'm bad because I'm educated and I'm drug free. Look, kids, if you want to make it in this country, you go get an education, you work hard, and you believe in yourself. In order to be bad, you got to be good. Go to school and stay away from drugs. Why do you think they call it dope? Dope. Beautiful. Thanks. Tom Evans approaches the football. Here's the kick. Going nice deep. Got to be taken by Thompson at about the 10. He's to the 15, to the 20. To the oh. outside. Down he goes. Nice tackle nice that time job. by... Kurt Sajowski again. He's made a couple of nice tackles in this ball game. So Kalamazoo is going to have it first down and 10 up at the 24-yard line, we'll call it, about the 23 and a half. Eight minutes and nine seconds to go to the ball game, 45 to 3. I wonder when the last time was VU beat anybody 45 free. Probably only it's when you were. Yeah. McDonald sets them down in the I formation. Going straight back, wants to throw, fires it out. Here's got Green. Green trying to get oh, away, and he is snowed three, under. Four, five. At about the 30-yard line. Yeah, good example. Good job. Got hit by the first man, and then we had five, six more defenders on him. Clear out to the sideline. Pick up a six yards on the play. It'll be second down and four. Let's see defensively. Number eight in there is Tim Reason. You got uh, 52. That is Chris Helton. 27 is Latsky, 26 as uh, Devona still in there, 44 in on the linebacker, that's Matt Glatchen. We got Matt uh, Barker in at a cornerback out 98, here 98, Art Moline. He's loosening up. Shotgun for be in. McDonald, fumbled the football, now rolls stay back, right. Stay back, Matt. Under pressure, steps up, now he's going to have to he's take off run. with it, oh. and he uh, decides to hit the deck at about the 35-yard line. Uh -oh, we got somebody, somebody is down, down for the Crusaders, I believe. That's Stay Moline. Down. Stay down. Oh, stay down. That's 90. Art Moline, and he looks like he's right. really hurt. So pick up a five on the play and a first down for the Kalamazoo Hornets as Moline is down. And we're going to have, he's going to be there for a while. We'll take a timeout with 7-16 to go in the ball game. The score, Valparaiso 45 and Kalamazoo 3. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Wheels can really get you places. Including some places you don't want. Like the emergency room. Learn how to use your wheels properly. Wear a helmet and pads. Obey traffic rules. Walk across intersections. And don't try risky stunts. Remember... Your most important safety equipment is under your helmet. Use your head and stay safe. A message from the Will Rogers Institute, White Plains, New York. In our hands rests the ability to lift those who have fallen, to comfort those who are troubled, to guide those who could be lost. It is the greatest power we hold, and there is no greater way to make it felt than through your united way working harder than ever to make a lasting impact in the lives of the needy and in the hopes of your entire community. Please support your United Way. Art Moline comes off on the cart. It looks like it's a leg or an ankle injury. We'll have to see what we can find out. First and 10 at the 35. McDonald rolls to the right, wants to throw, fires incomplete. Too high for the intended receiver. And it's going to be second down and 10 at the 35-yard line. Art's walking around down there. You knew he was all right when the trainer came out to him and he asked, he asked him right away, he said, how's the crowd taking it? <laughs> he, just, I mean, he shouldn't have been in a ball game. He figured about that time he's getting a little attention from the radio yeah. announcers. Take a dive. 6'3", 272-pound junior. Right. Second down and 10 at the 35. It's starting to get dark here again all of a sudden. McDonald into the shotgun, goes straight back. He's under a lot oh, of pressure again. Fires it out here, incomplete. Almost intercepted. We got a late hit. Yep. Oh. Late hit coming in, and uh, it's going to be a number 63, Jeff Lawley. And his defense probably couldn't really see where the football was, but uh, he put a lick on him while the guy was on his knees, and that's going to cost him 15. So 
That's a 15 yard and that'll put it up to the 50 yard line. It's gonna be first down and 10. For Kalamazoo, six minutes, 59 seconds to go in the ball game. 45-3 Valparaiso. Crusaders have had this one since the first quarter. We were tied at three then. Crusaders scored four touchdowns in the second period and have been coasting here in the third and fourth period. We're going to have to relabel our free safety as a headhunter spot. Well, they come up hitting, don't they? McDonald rolls left, wants to throw, stands in there, fires it out here, and got his oh, man, hit him right man. in the hit him right in the Damn. face. Lee Grizel just didn't catch it. Boy, I tell you what, you get a guy that open and you're the quarterback, right. what are you supposed to do? <laughs> Yeah. That's when you see a guy come back to the huddle and he keeps his head down. He don't want to look at that quarterback too bad, does they've, he? They've had quite a few today where they've had him. Hit, the quarterback has hit him right in the hand. They haven't been able to hold on to it. Oh, my and holder. Maybe they are back in and out goes. Out goes Grizel. Grizel is a freshman from uh, Dearborn, Michigan. McDonald rolls right and fires it out here, and he's got his receiver. Fumble oh, the fumble. football, and Crusaders have got it. He found Doobie, and Doobie lost the handle on it at the 38-yard line. Pick up 12, and the fumble gives it back to the Crusaders. First down and 10, their own 38-yard line. And we got a new quarterback in there, number 10, Paul Van Dam, is going to be the quarterback, a six-footer, 190 pounds from... Rochester Hills, Michigan. Now he's the quarterback. The Hornets are experiencing, unfortunately, what we've done too many times in the past. When everything goes wrong, everything keeps going wrong. Yeah, it's like it goes downhill on you, doesn't it? Straight ahead is the fullback. That's number 38 in there. That's uh, Tipman. So Tipman carries across the 40 and onto the 42 yard line. Pick up a four, second down. And six. Well, they've had a chance to use a lot of different fullbacks today, Coach. Uh, Watkins has played fullback. Cracknell's got a shot. And now Tipman's getting his shot. So they've been able to use a lot of them. Yeah, Coach Adams has to be extremely pleased. I believe, I'll, I imagine before he's done today, he will have all his backs in the ball game. Straight ahead it goes for a couple of yards. Probably our 10th back in there now. Let's see, that's... Uh, Number 30, that's uh, Jason Mangold, a 5'7", 170-pound freshman from St. John's, Indiana, Lake Central High School. Boy, what a program they've had the last couple of years. Picks up two. It'll be third down and four at the 44-yard line. Well, there's the, you get a look at the sidelines there. Darren Rodriguez got a start today and really did a whale of a job for the Crusaders. That was that number 37 you saw kneeling. There's the pitch oh, to the outside. The is the man goal around the corner to the 50, 45, and out of bounds. Flag is down. No, we're going to get a hold, I would guess. Some kind of a holding penalty against the Crusaders out on that left side as they try to get around the corner. Normally what you'll get there. That might have been on Tobert, but it looked to me like he was doing a good job blocking out there. He just came up and kept a screen block, stayed in the face of that man, and kept him from making a tackle. That's going to be a hold from the 49, so he gets five yards on the carry, but then the hold is going to put it back another 10. If I count everything right, that'll put it back to the 39-yard line where it's going to be third down yeah. and about nine. I was just going to comment on that it was an excellent block out there by a wide receiver, but I he must have called him on a hold. I think it might have been 88 Mike Uskirk, a 5'10", 170-pound freshman from Valparaiso, well, from Andrean High School, lives here in Valparaiso, but went to Andrean. Might have been the guy they caught. I'm not positive about right. that. 80 goes wide to the right side. That's Josh Elwine in 82. That's uh, Casey, or make that Scott Williams on wide left. The high backfield. Van Dam at quarterback. On the option, the pitch to the outside. The man goal, trying to get around the corner. Fumble oh, the football. Oh, Loose picked up by Kalamazoo. At about the 42-yard line. So the Crusaders fumble it back. It's going to be first and He's ten. got a Crusader down in the middle of the field, too. For the Hornets. Oh, there he is. That's number 75, John Bennett. 
The 6'4", 238-pound freshman, 5'20 to go in the ball game. 45-3, Crusaders come back on defense. Let's see if there's anybody we haven't called out there. 93 in the ball game. That's Adam Zolvinsky. We've had him. Um, Haiti, Texas. I think we've got just about everybody. 41 in there. That's Willie Little. 52 is Chris Helton. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. Donald goes back. Now rolls right. Ooh, nice That's plenty of line. time. Stands. Fires deep. It is incomplete. Flag oh, down. We're going to have pass line. interference. Pass interference is going to be called against Noel DeBone. And the reason, Coach, is the fact that he had his back turned to the ball. you got to be watching the ball if you're going to be that close. Actually, you can you face guard don't. in college. You know, you can face guard in college. And that was a close one. I think that's one you got to give them in the ball game when it's when it's this way. But in a close ball game, that was uh, that'd be a would've hurt big a time, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Because the contact came after the ball. Right, right. Came after the ball happened. So the 15-yard penalty against the Crusaders will move it down to the 27-yard line. We're going to be first down and 10 for Kalamazoo. It's one of those rules, again, where, you know, in high school you can't face guard. In the pros you can't face guard. In college you can't. You can't make contact. Wide receivers to both sides for McDonald. He's going to go back into the shotgun. Five minutes, 13 seconds to go in the ball game. He's going to roll right. Now steps in, fires it out here. It is caught. Nice Ooh, catch. Nice catch. At about the 18-yard line is number 30. That is Nate Bull who makes the grab. First and 10 down at about the 18-yard line. Might not be first down. Going to pick up nine. Going to be second down at a yard. Second down a yard to go at the 18-yard line. Four minutes, 45 seconds to go in the ball game. The clock moves. Second and one. Move over, move over. McDonald oh, fires it out here on the left side. Nice catch oh. again by Bull. A diving catch at about the eight-yard line. So Bull picks up ten on the catch. And another first down. First down and goal from the eight. Four minutes and 28 seconds to go. The clock moving. 45-3. Kalamazoo trying to get something against the... I'd like the, to look at that again. I still it looked yeah. like it might have been a first bounce. Well, they he don't have a good job replay. of coming up with it, no. <laughs> Yeah, the guy who had to make that call was behind him. It's really tough for a right. referee to see that one way or another. McDonald got to roll. Wants to throw, fires it out here for the end zone. Nice play. Good by job DeBona defensively. That time to knock it away. Good job. Come Second back down. in that end zone. you got to get that front coverage. He played on the outside shoulder. Come back in there. Excellently played by DeBona. Second down and goal at the eight-yard line. The one thing I've noticed about McDonald today, Coach, he, does, he throws the ball into crowds. He's not afraid to put it up there. No. That's not always good. He hasn't had a choice today. He's got to get <laughs> yeah. rid of the ball very quickly. He's Although in the a, second half, he's had more time to throw the ball. A lot of pressure, especially against that first-team defense when they were in there. Goes back, gives a straight ahead. Oh, there of we go. Touchdown. Right Draft, down right the middle. up the middle. He spread him out, gave it to Wagner Ooh, on the counter, and Wagner takes it into the end zone with 3.54 to go in the ball game. Kalamazoo on the board again. Their first touchdown of the afternoon. It's 45 to 9. So on to try the Literally extra point, the Brad Horman. Literally put a hole in there that you could have drove the Mack truck through. It's nice trap. To rain. You see the umbrellas start to sprout up. Horman, a straight-ahead kicker. Not too many of those left anymore. He kicks it. It's good. So there's timeout on the field. 3.54 to go in the ball game. It is now Valparaiso 45. And the Hornets of Kalamazoo 10. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. I want you. I want your hand on my back when I make my way through a crowd. I want to feel you watch me when I talk to my friends. Talk to me. Tell me about your friends, your family. Look at me. I want to spend my life with you. And I'll never hurt you, never lie to you, and never put you in danger. 
There's a time for us to be lovers. We will wait until that time comes. Your children don't know the meaning of the word racism. Let's keep it that way. children to hate. So the kick and the Crusaders expecting an onside kick and all the hands team in, but he kicks it deep and out of bounds and the Crusaders will get it first to 10 at the 35. Now, it, it, special teams coach had his uh, receiving, had the front line receiving line, no blockers up there, all Tight ends and uh, wide receivers that you could cover the ball once it went 10 yards. First but and, they went deep. First and 10 at the 35 yard line, 3.54 to go in the ball game. Paul Van Dam, the quarterback. The Crusaders have uh, gone at least three deep at just about every position. Man comes in motion, hands off straight ahead to the fullback. I believe that's Tipman. Is Tipman still in their fullback? I think. Nope, that's Cracknell. And Cracknell carries the football up for a gain of three. Make it second down and seven as Crack Bob Cracknell for three. Second down seven. Now what do we have? We've got an official timeout. I'm not sure what this is all about. Going to wipe the ball? I don't know. 3.28 to go. I don't like something. Well, the referee's going to come over, and uh, we don't need a delay here. I see the rain, <laughs> but I see the umbrellas up. Yeah. Oh, the headphones uh, are not working on the on the Kalamazoo sideline, so they're going to have to get rid of the headline. So they got to get rid three, of the phones on the Crusader side until they get them yeah. working again. 335 is what they're going to put on the clock to be ready to go in the ball game. So 335 will be up on the clock. Seven more seconds added. To not the game. a lot that needs to be said right now anyway. Well, in a game like this, I'm not sure that uh, even the, the uh, Kalamazoo coaches care about putting right. another set of seconds up there, right. do they? <laughs> Second and seven at the 38 as we go back to play. Well, they only put the uh, well, clock moving as we go to 320. Van Dam straight ahead, Cracknell up to the 40-yard line. So Bob Cracknell with a pickup of two. And it's going to be third down and five at the 40-yard line. Bob from Amorsa Beach, California, all the way here to Valparaiso. wonder how he likes the weather. He's going to like it a whole lot in a couple months. Yeah, a couple <laughs> months is when he'll find out. I hope it's a couple months yet. Maybe a big shock for him. <laughs> 2.50 to go in the ball game. Third and five at the 40. Roll on to Van Dam, calls the signals, goes to Cracknell again straight ahead, gets it up to the 42-43 yard line. Give him two yards on the play. And it's going to be fourth down and about three at the 43 for the Crusaders, so they're going to have to kick it away. Well, that was three plays in a row from a double wing formation with the fullback straight up the middle. We have rain in Valparaiso. The clock goes inside 220. The continues to move. Kepke back for the kick. Thompson is deep for Kalamazoo. That's a good picture of Dan. It really starting to rain all of a sudden as Kepke gets it away. Nice kick. Thompson takes it at the 20, 25 down the sideline and out of bounds he goes. At about the 32 yard line and that's where Kalamazoo will take it over. First down and 10. Nice job by Thompson. Come up and took the ball. A little First bit to the outside. Up at the 32-yard line for the Hornets of Kalamazoo as the rain has really started to cut loose. 152 to go in the ball game. New quarterback in there is Mike McGurin. So McGurin will be the quarterback as uh, for the last minute or so. The hands off straight ahead to a runner back in there up to about the 38-39 yard line. 
A couple seven yards on the play. That is, uh, who is that? 20 what? 28. All righty, that's uh, Wade Thompson. He'll pick up seven, make it second down and three at the 39. Second down and three at the 39-yard line. A minute and 15 to go in the ball game. McGurin goes back, fires it over the middle, caught his man, dropped the football. It's oh, loose, fumble. incomplete. Going to be ruled incomplete. It's going to be third down and three at the 39-yard line. Nice play by, nice play by Gladchen. He came in and knocked the ball out of his hands and then fell on it for the fumble, but it was called incomplete pass, which third. it was. Third down and three at the 39-yard line. The Crusaders 45 to 10. We're going to have to wrap it up pretty quickly after the end of the ball game here, so we will uh, we will do that. Rolling left, McGurin gives it off the top to a new man in there. That's number 25, uh, David Best, and Best carries the football up across the 40-yard line. And got a couple of yards out of it. It's going to be fourth down on a yard from the 41-yard line. And Kalamazoo is going to kick it away with uh, less than a minute to go, 45 seconds to go in the ball game. Today's game has been sponsored by Harley Snyder Insurance, Robert W. Baird and Company, Express Personnel Services, Advertising, Marketing, and Promotions, Getaway Tours, Downtown Valparaiso Business Association, the Sports Shop, Indiana 105, and the United Way. Our thanks to them making this game possible. There's the snap. And the left-handed kick. Oh, nice oh, high sailing kick. kick this time. Fair catch oh, going to be called and then got away from. The ball bounces ball. all the way into the end zone. So the Crusaders will have it first and 10 at the 20 with just 13 seconds to go. Well, Coach, we're going to have to wrap it up pretty quickly here, but it's been a great ball game for the Crusaders. Big lead and... Uh, Exactly what you'd like to have if you're a football coach, and that's a big lead, and be able to use everybody and do what you want to do. Great ball game. If you got to take Ozzy out of the ball game, this is the ball game to do it. They uh, give everybody a chance to play, give the quarterbacks a chance to play in there, because you could just see our quarterback come along back there. He started off a little rusty, and as he went along, he got better and better, started running that option really well. One or yeah. two plays, all that we're going to have left. Van Dam at quarterback, he's just going to uh, kill it. He's going to step back one and go to his knees, and that's going to be it. So Van Dam takes the snap and sets it down, and that's going to be it. The Crusaders have won it 45-10 to and start off 3-0 and on the year. Tom Horn's going to be extremely happy where his team sets right now, getting ready for the long trip to San Diego next week. What a way to go down to San Diego, 3-0. and a chance to play all your ball players this weekend, and apparently uh, we come away with no serious injuries and a chance for our people who were injured to get healed. So that's going to do it for today. Our next telecast will be Butler University. It'll be homecoming, the game on October 8th. By the Two way, what time do we today. catch the plane down to San Diego? <laughs> we'll talk to Tom, see what he <laughs> said. So the final score once again, the Valparaiso Crusaders 45 and the Kalamazoo College Hornets 10. The Crusaders now 3-0 on the year. Hope you enjoyed the broadcast and that you'll join us next time. Our thanks to all the guys back in the truck for doing a great job on the uh, video and audio for today's game. And my thanks again to Bill Cook for an excellent job on color. The final score once again, Valparaiso 45, Kalamazoo 10. Till next time, this is Dick Harlan wishing you a pleasant good afternoon, everybody.